Hello, everybody. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, so how are you? How's it going, Soph? Can you hear me? Oh my gosh, we have technical difficulties. Hi, Raven, how are you? Looks like Soph is, I think the system is kicking her out. Can you guys see my hand? Hi, Raven, can you hear me? Can you guys hear me? Hello, Lori Ann. Hi, Raven. How are you guys? Can you guys hear me? This, oh, you can hear and see me. Okay, cool. This is what we're going to be creating tonight. I think um, I'm going to wait for Sophie to come back because she is my partner for tonight. How's everybody doing? Maria Del Carmen, hello, how are you? Tina, hello, Pebbles, hello, you guys. Happy Friday Night Life. Thank you for the thumbs up, everyone. I appreciate it. Um, I just brought Lexi to, um, to her volleyball practice. And so we are here live. I think this paper, the jelly bean paper, would be super cute. Hi, Deb. Waiting for Soph to come back. Um, and she's going to show us what project she's going to be making. Hi, Tyresa. Hi, Jekka. How are you? So for my project, guys, I am cutting this. Oh, what do you call this? The brand strip. I'm cutting the brand strip because I need a 12 by 12. I don't know about you guys, but these nails, I'm not used to like the the nails and i need to get it removed because it's driving me crazy it is not for me like the nails i know it's been like three weeks or so and it's still okay i can still wing it but it's just not for me hi alvina how are you oh i got today okay while we're waiting for soph to arrive i went to the uh, thrift store and i got a basket my friend trang is celebrating her birthday so i'm going to fill that with presents and then i got two sets of oh yes let me let me bring in so we have a creative like a create store i hope this works hi so can you hear me yes it did it again so i rebooted and i'm hoping that it fixed it oh my gosh i hope we can hear you loud and clear hi alvina um so i so hope everybody you just crossed your fingers <laughs> cross, i'm crossing my fingers hi vera how are you oh, welcome wow. guys happy friday night live i hope Soph gets to stay with us tonight um yes, me too. <laughs> oh my god okay i'm fixing my so we can have a little bit more hi Fritzi. hi vero hi debbie oh, hi, hi alvina hi hello Teresa. everyone Tyre uh, I think Tyresa or Tyressa. Hello, everyone. Hi. Happy Friday night. Thank you for all the thumbs up. I appreciate it. Hi, um, So I was telling everyone, so here close to my house, maybe about three minutes away, there's a store called Recreate. Mm -hmm. and I've heard it's of like this a, store. Have you heard about that store? It's a, like a crafty a drop off like where people donate mm -hmm. when people die you know oh. um or like they're getting rid of all their stuff there's so many things yeah. there they're like dyes and everything um and i was texting deb and mimi today because i know deb love like heartfelt creations so i sent them mm -hmm. a text so i got this basket because i'm filling it with some gifts for my friend trang it's her birthday Oh nice. And and then this one I got. I it's it's essentials by Ellen. Yeah. And I mean it's five dollars. I know it's a little bit more expensive than what I would have bought it for. However, I don't know. But I like this one that says eat at your own risk. Mm. Isn't that so cute? Bone appetite. Good to the last bite. Like That's so font. cute. It's I like, like the font bold. too. Trick or treat yourself. <laughs> So I like I like that and I know I'm sure I have some 
Halloween dice. But I do like the says eat your own risk. And this one, this is probably like an MFT stamp by the looks of it. But I didn't buy it. This one, both of it is $5. This one has a chicken. A chicken, like, chicken stamp. So, oh, this one is like five golden rings, two, two, three French hens, two turtle doves and a partridge. Oh, two turtle doves, partridge in a pear tree kind of thing. But this one, together with it, is a stamp. And I needed a Mother's Day stamp, and I saw Happy Mother's Day. So that's the only reason why I got it, is for the Happy Mother's Day and Happy Father's Day and Happy Anniversary. You Rock also works, and no one else could fill your shoes. You know, it's kind of those things. So, yeah, that's what I bought from the thrift store. I didn't buy a lot. I hope Soph is in. Hi, Nicole. How are you? I hope Soph is still here. Oh, oh my God. It's kicking Soph out. I don't know what's going on. Oh my gosh, Soph, I'm so sorry. So we're using the platform StreamYard, you guys. So it seems like this is our third or fourth attempt to get Sophie back in the backstage in the studio. And it's quite frustrating because it's kicking her out. Um... So while we're waiting for her, I'm going to cut my paper to 6 by 12 because this is what we're going to need. We're going to need 6 by 12 to make our milk cartons while we're waiting for Soph to come back. I know I didn't buy a lot, Deb. I'm trying to like, because I know I'm buying some stuff. Like I'm getting the What Ev's collection from Cherry on Top and some more collections from three craft chicks so i'm i'm kind of you know for my birthday and then i got this one which gina told me about gina scrapanology hi susan how are you so and i use stream yard with crews oh it's raining there it's about to rain on my end too so I got this from Shabby, not too shabby shop. And yeah, I got this nurse. I'm waiting for Soph to come back on stage. But I this is a nurse. Um some of you might know I am a nurse. And oh, Sophie's back. Oh my god, Soph, I'm so sorry. I don't know what to do. Because it's stuff up what happened i don't know what's going on bro i'm so sorry no yeah i've never had out? this happen i'm like why why oh Hopefully, my God. it'll be good now yes let's just keep on talking and then we're gonna be okay we're yeah, just gonna ignore gonna it <laughs> manifest good things manifest yes let's manifest that so we're gonna have a good live it's gonna be fine right yes exactly Okay, so I was telling everyone, I got this Nurse Fuel paper pad. <gasps> That's perfect for you. From Not Too Shabby, look how cute it is. And I it's know. coffee. Oh, my gosh. Coffee look. and nursing. Yes, look What's it. For? for Rachel? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's spring break for my kids starting today. Oh, my God. I love all these. I want a fussy cut. Educated drug dealer. Yeah. Nurse fixing cuts and sticking butts. I slap people for a living. Oh my gosh. So I'd love to fussy. Oh my God. Look at the fussy cutting possibilities. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Do you guys want to see it? I'm sure you want to see it. It's so cute. I think it's cute. What do you think, Soph? I hope Soph is still with us. Fussy cutting, I made cards for my coworker. So I got two of that paper pad. And then that's it. That's all my shopping. What about you, Soph? What have you been doing recently? And what are you going to do tonight? Rain, rain, go away. I know it's spring break. Oh my gosh. I think, oh my gosh, I don't know. 
So I'm so sorry. Oh no! I wonder what happened. Maybe, maybe I need to send stream information because I don't think I can. I don't think I can um, get out and send Soph the, the stream yard. Snowing here. Let me look at my computer and see if I could like resend her. Sorry, you guys. StreamYard. I'm going to type StreamYard and see if I could re invite her to the live and send her and send her another request. Maybe that's going to work. It should be okay because people are invite me. Yes. Copy. I'm going to send Soph. Soph, I'm sending you a message on Instagram. I'm sending you the link on Instagram right now if you're listening. I sent it to you on your Sophia account. Hopefully that helps. So frustrating. I spend money on Timo and Amazon. Oh my gosh. Same. Oh, Erica is here. Hi, Erica. How are you? How are you? Oh, it's snowing here a little and cold in Ohio. Oh, wow. Ohio. Okay. So I hope, I hope so if that works, I hope that works for you. I'm so sorry. I sent you another. Fritzy, do you mind texting so that I sent her the link in her Instagram account? I can't text her because I'm using my phone. Pretty nice winter, but now spring is here and it's cold. Oh, I know, I know. It's supposed to be much better. So today, you guys, while we're waiting for Soph, I'm sorry this is frustrating, but we're going to be making this 3D project that you can make. Um, Thanks, Fritzy. That you can make all throughout the year. This is the guaranteed super easy project for everyone to create with the kids, like a crafty project, you know, with the girlfriends. Hello, Henrietta. Is it cold there too in central Ohio? Hi, Soph will be back. She's going to switch to the phone because the laptop is having issues. So, uh, thank you, Eric. Thank you, Eric. I, Eric, I sent Soph the link through her Instagram. It was low 70s here the last two days, but today it was cold. Yes, it was cold. So I saw on her table that she has plants. I did do some die cutting so we can assemble some new dies, but I am excited to work and show you how easy, how easy this project is, okay? So right now, friends, if you're gonna be joining us and you're gonna be crafting alone, I would love for you to get a 12 by six piece of paper and we're going to be creating, um, we're going to be creating a milk carton box, which is the easiest thing ever to make ever, ever, ever. And you, after you create them, you can keep them flat and then have it come to life when the occasion arises. Or if you have, you know, it could be in your um, gift wrapping. It could be, you can put it in your gift, the, in the gift wrapping section of your craft room. Um, oh, it's really cold. Oh, no, the stupid flu. I'm so sorry. Thank you, Eric, for your help. It's, it's still snowing. It should be spring, guys. I'm so sorry about your weather, everyone. Um, my kids are very, very disappointed. It's spring break starting you know, Monday, and it's going to be cloudy and raining. Some of my kids' friends are traveling. We're supposed to have a party for Nick tomorrow, but, you know, he has a sore throat. It started, he has a sore throat today. So after we just, I just gave him Motrin. So after the live, I'm going to go to Walgreens and get more Motrin because I just used our last dose. 
So it looks like Soph is going to be, Soph is going to be switching to her phone. Um, how's everybody doing? Who's going to be, who's going to be creating the project with me? Let me know with a show of hands, because this is such a fun project. I encourage you to join in, use your paper stash. We're going to need a six by 12 sheet of paper. We're going to be creating two versions, one with a window and one without the window. You're taking notes perfectly perfect, Deb. So I am, um, am excited. So all you need, essentially the side panel, you're going to score at two and seven, eight intervals and that's pretty much it that's what makes this project so easy and you know so easy so fast and it saves a lot of paper that's what i love about it and we're going to be using the bunny hop collection from three craft uh, from doodle bug and i got all this from three craft chicks this is what we are making today erica this is our milk carton and the dimension is the height is two inches and the width is two and seven eight. Super fun. And so this from here to here, your your how much volume you can do. This is two and seven eight by two inches. The height is two inches, the width is two and seven eight. But this one from here to here is four and a half inches from top to bottom. So I hope you guys can join in. Oh, I have Soph here. She's back. Oh. oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Soph. I'm so sorry. I got you. What did you use? Did you not use your phone? No, I never use my phone. Um, Do you use the camera? Yeah. I use my laptop um, and I have all external stuff. Oh, wow yeah so give me just one second because yeah we'll wait for you no problem i oh goodness gracious i have it on the stand and it's yeah, like we'll no oh come on i'm so tired i'm just watching it's been a week oh sorry fritzy Thank you, thank you. I hope you guys can make this one. It's so, so easy. Um, and I'm excited to share this with you because this has been a project that I've had for maybe two months now. And it's a great project, especially for like placeholders. It's great for like parties. You can put, you know, giveaways, you know, like treat bags for kids, especially when they're little and they have like, giveaways like toys and things oh my gosh i think sophie got kicked out again how is this no, possible I didn't. I okay didn't. i'm it's like my... i'm so scared because it was dark well my phone is upside down and it doesn't want to let me face id and it doesn't want to let me enter my password <laughs> oh my gosh okay. i'm so sorry okay i think hopefully i think this is gonna work we're okay, on my cool. phone now you guys but I had to like whip out a different stand and like move all this stuff from the camera. So, oh my goodness! Again. But thank I you, visual, thank you. So I can't participate in chat, guys. I'm sorry. I will read the chat for us. Um, okay. So Fritzy says, "I'm tired. I'm just watching. It's been a week." And then Deb says, "I feel you, Fritzy." Um, Erica says. This is what I'm going to be making right here. It's a milk jug. Milk carton. Nice. Okay. So I'm going to start with the instructions, if you guys don't mind. So this is a 12 by 6 inch paper. 
it's so so easy i think it is the weather i agree because it's kind of like super gloomy, super dark. Okay, so essentially, we're going to score every 2 and 7 eight of an inch. 2 and 7 eight. You're going to move it. Well, I can tell you the measurements. I have 2 and 7 eight. Score five on the and, 12 inch side? Uh, yeah, on the 12 inch side. You're going to score at every two and seven eight so two and seven eight five and three quarters eight and five eight i can type it let me type it um this is at the 12 inch side guys 12 inch side you're going to score at two and seven eight five and three four Two and seven eight. Hi, Mimi. Five and three fourths. Next is eight and five eight, and eleven and a half. And then at the six inch, or at one and one and a half, three and a half. And five and a half. Super easy, super easy. So I put it in the comments just in case. Uh, eight and then eleven and a half right here. Da, 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 da. How's your one and a half, three and a half, and five and a half, and then eleven inches on the six inch side? Yeah, on the on the no, not on the not on the six inch side, on the twelve inch side. So on the twelve inch, I type it on there. It is two and seven eight, and then five and three quarters, and then eight and five eight, and eleven and a half. And then you turn it, and starting from the bottom, you guys, you score from the bottom. Okay, so this is your this is your image right here. You're gonna turn it, and you're gonna score at one and a half. One and a half, five and a half, uh, one and a half, three and a half, and five and a half. Just like that. And that is it. And this is your box. Easiest box ever. Ever, ever. Hi, Stace. How are you? So it is. So, so if you're going to need a paper that is six by 12. Six by twelve sheet of paper. So one and a half, three and a half, and five and a half. That's what you're going to score at the six inch mark. And then at the twelve inch mark, you're going to score every two and seven eight. Two and seven eight. Five and three quarters. I'm gonna pin this. Can I pin this pin message? Okay, I'm gonna pin that. Um, eight and five eight, eight and five eight, and eleven and a half. So that's what our score looks like. If you prefer, if you prefer to put a window, it is up to you. You can. Um, you just have to choose which, where you want to put the window, if you want to put it anywhere. And then you just score half an inch from that. So if I am creating a window here, do you want to put a window so or no? Um, I probably won't just because I can't see, like I'm doing this all by listening to you. Okay. Hi, Gina. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. So. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna put put away my scoreboard and we're gonna start assembling. It is super easy, I promise. It's not hard at all. And it's gonna be a great kind of staple for any kind of party. So you're gonna score right here. You're just gonna you're gonna burnish all your sides. And I'm using the bunny side. 
And then you're going to score right here. You're going to burnish here on the bottom. And then you're going to burnish here. And then you're going to burnish here. Just like that. And then, so I wonder what happened, so. I honestly think my laptop is taking a dump. Oh, you're going to need a new laptop, I think. Yeah, which is fine, but, um, like, I was delaying that, um, so I was going to have to move all my stuff over to a different laptop, which is oh, fine. Like, he has lots of extra laptops, because that's what he does, you know? Uh-huh. But um just like the whole process. That's gonna be a pain. Annoying. Yeah, it's annoying. So that's why I was like, Well, I need stuff on there still and so I we know. hadn't moved anything over or whatever. And I think it like this is you know, dying. <laughs> that's okay. the worst. That, I, I feel <laughs> that's the worst. On the <laughs> so sorry. Right. I feel like that's, that's the funny. worst part of having a new laptop it's not the cost of the laptop because you know laptops are not that expensive it is migrating all of your software all of your fonts that you've that you've yeah. you've gotten all of right. your svg keys oh my god that's the worst and then the photos my goodness oh forgot to cut yeah. these so essentially, we're gonna cut these on this on the, the bottom. The skinny side is that the pleat on the top that glues together, right? The skinny side on the left, right? Like this, this not this part. We're gonna cut here. We're gonna cut what? on the bottom, the one and a half inch side. You're gonna cut. You're gonna cut all those. Um, marks at the line or like just a little wedge no just the line you're just cutting the line because that's what is going to hold the box together and then it's like do I have these? hold on i have kid scissors for some reason <laughs> what happened I was crafting at Renee's today, so on my desk are kid scissors, not my scissors. <laughs> <laughs> what C H A? What you making besides a box? A box for this is for Easter. A box for Easter goodies. Um, I want to give. I want to give some Easter stuff at work as well. And we're going to have an Easter party before I work on Easter. Because I'm working Easter, which is so annoying. But I have to deal with it. That's just how it is. That's the nature of my job. It's like Christian, shift work. Can we cut off this little thing right here? Uh, let me see what you're doing. On the, on the, yes. So okay. cut the one and a half inch side and just leave a tab. Because that's what you're going, right that's what's going to put it together. Yes. So cut us. A, 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 yeah. Just So just leave enough to put it together. Remove that one and a half by okay. one and a half. Yeah. The, yep. Okay. Perfect. And then you start assembling it. How are you, how are you being able to craft with this? It's faster um, than a die. It's a simple milk carton box for any kind of crafty needs. Any kind of crafty needs. For this part, I'm gonna put a window. Let me measure. I didn't I didn't anticipate that I'm gonna do a window, but I think a window would be a fun thing to add. Essentially, I'm just scoring half an inch. Are you doing it in the side of your box or you're doing it at the top? Which one? The window? Mm -hmm. Um, I am... It's going to be in the side panel. Okay. On the side is my window. 
I feel like oh you're cutting it, it on your scoreboard I thought you were gonna punch it or something oh no it's gonna be hard it's gonna well, be so tiny of a thing. window it's gonna be too small I feel like it has to be half it has to be a quarter of an inch it has to be just a quarter because the window is so small so I'm gonna mark that yeah, I don't think I have a punch out that is small enough. And that has so much reach, right? Because it has to have a reach. Well, no, because if you did it on the one that's over here that you're going to glue, mm -hmm. it would reach, I think, right here. You know what I mean? Like over here is your glue tab. If you did it on yep. this one, Oh, okay. It would reach. Now I get it. But you can't do it on the opposite side. Only one window, not two. <laughs> That's going to be hard. Good. Right. This is not a luxurious box. It's only one window. <laughs> yes. This is not the penthouse, guys. Right. So let's see. One quarter. Seven, eight, one, two. Okay. So I had to make my window so much smaller. So this is my tab. This is my tab that I've identified. This is where I'm going to cut. Okay, so I'm going to cut. Let me cut this first. I'm going to cut the bottom portion right there and then make that. Then cut the bottom again. So I know where my. Because I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the jelly bean side for this one. So that's why it's, I feel like it's okay to it's okay to use and mark my territory right here. Mm -hmm. So that. My cutting, I don't want to make a mistake on this one. I'm going to cut right here. Guys, don't forget you have to. I'm writing on the, the opposite side. So this is where I'm going to cut. It's good to like mark it. Oh, I saw in the news, you guys. Did you guys see that Princess Kate has cancer? No way, that sucks. Stomach cancer. Remember Prince Charles just had like a prostate cancer situation? That sucks. I know, that's why she had surgery in January. And so she Aww. did a public announcement today that she is on, pre she is, she's starting her preventative chemo. I didn't know there's a preventative chemo. Maybe in the UK. That's so sad. They said that they needed time to tell the kids, you know. And that's sad. I'm a bit confused where to cut. Hi, Carrie. The video isn't focusing well. I think I'm challenged. Um, I am so sorry. I will. I will create. I will create a solid one next. So you can see. And then I'm going to be writing on it so you can see it better. The next one. Don't worry, we got you. Isn't that sad? That's so sad. I know. I feel like she's so likable, even though she's not she like gorgeous. blood blood royal family. She's like I think she's absolutely beautiful. And you know how like because I watched the um the crown. And they did have an episode specifically about Princess Kate. And she actually oh. had a crush on on Prince William. Mm. Which is so cute. Ah, <laughs> oh, stomach cancer. Something so weird. I was watching the video about her on Monday, Tuesday night. I had a dream that I had stomach cancer and I had four months to live. Oh my god, that's a nightmare. Oh, Shanita is, is here. Hi, Shanita. That's Hi, Shanita. it, so 
You made it. You made it. Well, yeah, but I don't know how to. Well, I do know how to crease it, but I'm I'm just waiting for you. <laughs> so essentially, if you're if you're looking at your screen, this top half flap. Did, were you able to cut the bottom? Mine? The bottom yeah, ones that would folded. seal it up? Yeah. So that's important to get that squared away. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I am burnishing. It's good to burnish it. So you're burnishing right here. And then this essentially is what it's going to look like. See? You see what I mean right here? Oh, yeah. The window is cute, actually. I think the window is so much cuter. Right there. And then, and then what is important also is for you to, it's for you to have a crease. This side. This is like a cheat method, I feel like. What I'm doing is cheating. Because I am folding it before, before I put it together. But that's okay. I'll show you guys how to cheat. This is how you cheat. <laughs> that, is, that is a cheat method, everyone. Right there. And then you fold it. I hope Nick gets better before tomorrow because he has a party tomorrow. Oh, he's going to be bad if he's not, bro. I know, I know. And we just had to, like, reschedule, schedule. You know how, like, I don't know how you guys are when it comes to, like, kids' parties. Like, I try to RSVP as soon as I can so that people can make arrangements, you know? Mm -hmm. But, man, it was so hard to get an RSVP. Like, well, I, we only invited not a lot of kids. We only invited his solid group of friends. And they're like four people if everybody attended, you know. Right. And we even had to reschedule because one of the friends cannot come that day. And we had to reschedule right. the original date because he can't come that day. And he said, oh, I'll be able to come Saturday. And only to find out that there, he's not available anyways. So what? I know. So imagine like I invited you, Soph. Right. And you said, oh, the, the party's going to be Saturday. And you're like, oh, I'm only available Friday. And so I change it to Friday. And then you say, you say, oh, I'm going to be out of town. And I already changed it with everyone. It's like, oh, my God. It drives me yeah. crazy. And so I couldn't. Okay. So I was, I'm going to use, I'm going to make some water bottles for the boys. And so right. I couldn't. I couldn't do it prior because I don't want to, I don't want to do it like one at a time because I'm going to cricket their names. Right. And so, yeah, I was like, oh my God, come on people. RSVP in the modern world oh is God, a thing. I've been annoyed. Like, oh, you don't want to yeah. be annoyed and let it get to you and like get sassy, but at the same time, it's like, come on people. And there's not a lot that's invited. It's just a solid group of friends. Right. It's not like 10 people are invited. It's not. It's just mm -hmm. the four of them. <laughs> it's like, come on. I just need to know. So I know how to make arrangements. Like, come on. It sounds like a complaint. It sounds like I'm whining, but I kind of am. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Me too. Uh, Ushinida is back. Busy. Can't complain. Otherwise, that's good. Business is good. Um, so I don't know about what you guys' thoughts about RSVP, but I feel like it's a kind of a respect thing, isn't it? Like, let me know in advance if you can't make it. Because we've changed it twice for people saying that I they can I make do. it and then they cannot. That just pissed me off. And my husband, I was telling my husband this morning, I'm like, come on. And he's like, forget about it. It's fine. We're still going to have a party for him. It's still, it's going to be fine. If they don't, if they don't let you know, so then they're Jules not coming. Jules is so, like, chill. Chill. Jules is chill. 
Jules is like the chillest. I'm like intense. You know how like there's a crazy one and there's a chill one? I think, you know that, that what's that movie? Elemental or whatever? Uh-huh. And the, you're the fire and he's the water one. He is. <laughs> He's like, okay, because we can't both be crazy. It's going to be insane. <laughs> That's going to be a crazy ride. Um, Deb uh, Stace said, oh, Deb said, people don't RSVP. It's so rude. Um, Stace <laughs> said, you always have to plan for people being people. I know, I know. Um, Deb said, my girlfriend's daughter is getting married and we just had her shower last weekend and we had to call people to find out if they're coming. How do you plan for food? Yes, you have to plan for food. If they get plain water bottle, it will be their fault. Correct. Oh, Tamika's here. Hi, Tamika. Renee is here. Hi, Renee. Did Hi, Renee Hi, go to your house today? Did she go to your house today? No. I just mailed her happy mail. <laughs> I heard. <laughs> I heard. I hope she likes it. It's gonna get there on Monday. I'm excited. I'm excited. She's excited. But she's like being too hard on herself about like first time swapping. Oh, she first time swaps are the worst. Socks off. Do not, do not. Do not stress. It's just me. Don't stress because I, I, I have think, the worst. I don't think that reassures her, Christian. You hold a high seat in her regard. No, it, I'm I'm her friend. She shouldn't be like stressed. Well, yeah, I, but that's why she wants it to be nice. No, but I feel like friends have more like emotional bank account kind of. So yeah. well, the yeah, expectations. She, like at the same time, like if you like go to the store and you see like the perfect gift and then you find out that like the corner is all like wonky and messed up then you're not gonna buy it because it's for my friends like oh my god that's so funny oh um oh the baby how are you oh did she say amazing Oh, Do you like it? Look how cute the boxes are. Oh my goodness. It's going to be so much fun to decorate this. And fill it with like jelly beans. I still have a lot. Of, oh, I'm going to put jelly beans on these. I'm going to put jelly beans just because. You have the good jelly beans. I do. It's the Smarties. And they're so yummy. I oh, have to stop the myself. Sweet tarts. The sweet, sweet tarts. Yes. Those are the best. And they have the they're most beautiful hungry. colors. I love. Oh, what's, I what's, which color, color is your favorite? They taste amazing. Blue. They do taste so good. They taste so yummy. Yeah. I think last year was the first year. I don't know if they came out last year or I just discovered them last year, but oh my gosh. So good. And then when I discovered um, them, I sent some to Eileen because you know she's a jelly bean lover, right? Mm, it's so good. They're delicious. I want your swap to be perfect. You're so sweet. Told you. It doesn't have to be perfect. I saw it from the heart. It is. And from, from the, the heart. <laughs> it's the best. Oh my gosh. I feel like I need to secure the bottom of this because these babies are heavy. Ah! Oh my god. I overfilled it. I got excited. Oh I'm my god, it's so pretty. Sweet tart jelly beans. <laughs> So pretty. You know that person who doesn't eat candy corn? That same person doesn't like jelly beans. <laughs> who doesn't you know eat what? I don't really I, eat candy corn. I think candy corns are so pretty. But I don't but like I them. don't like um I don't like original jelly beans, like the regular jelly beans. I don't like those. Mm -hmm. They're kind of gross. 
These ones are sweet tarts. Yeah, the sweet tarts like ones are so good. I feel like you don't, as an adult, you normally eat a lot of candy in general. Oh, I eat too much candy. <laughs> I don't eat a lot of candy, but when I do like, I do like chocolate. I know I'm weird in my family. They think I'm weird. I'm trying to find, sorry guys, I'm making noise. I'm trying to find some clips. My family thinks I'm weird because I like white chocolate and they say it's fake. I don't care. Well, I like white it chocolate. Is, it's the fat from cocoa beans or something like that. Yes. Whatever it's called. As long as it has strawberry flavor in it, sign me mm. up. I love the strawberry strawberry flavored fake chocolate. That is my jam. My favorite, like my favorite one, and I'm so sad that they don't have it anymore for like the last two or three years. Those mm -hmm. do you did you ever have those coconut cream kisses? They used to have them during Easter season. Coconut cream? Yes. Coconut cream kisses. Hershey kisses. Oh. Amazing. They were oh. divine. Oh my god, really? My daughter loves coconut. And oh got chocolate together. Yeah, like I need to go have a moment by myself if I have those coconut cream kisses. They're amazing. Oh my. What about everybody? What's your favorite candy treat, chocolate treat? Hi, Eve. How are you? Hi, Eva. Share with us. Share, share, share. Okay, finally, my creases are behaving. I know it takes like practice. You know, I'm just like so good. Squish, squish, rub, rub, squish, squish. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, good. you got it. Isn't it easy? And it only uses yeah, six I've by twelve. Yeah, i before, but not the not this little one. I like this little one. And that it's little. Bad. Tutorial. and six and there's two you can get two from a 12 by 12 and if you like, like this is perfect lot. for like a wedding or a birthday party but you need maybe like 10 to 20 of them and because it's going to be you know if you need 20 of them you need 10 sheets of you need 10 sheets of 12 by 12 you can just cut 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 score 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 assemble decorate done and fill the other thing you could do is cut 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 score 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 Glue it, leave it flat. Like, don't glue the bottom. Oh yeah, 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 and, and set like, it aside. No, yes, like, even, that'd like, be so swap, cute. You could like yes, that'd be like, so cute. Cartons, and then when they get them, they're like, oh, I want to put this together, and then they just oh, boom. that is a great idea. Like, send them like a four pack or something. Yeah, that'd be so sweet. Did Can I just know? tell you guys? Okay, this is hi, Barbara. How are you? Oh my God, I was telling Rachel, can I just tell you something insane? Are you ready? We'll Are you ready? This is crazy. And so you have to ready. look at, you have to look at the screen. Oh, okay. Let me tell you. So I have a printer that photocopies, and I think all the printers photocopy, right? As in general. Hi, Lamont. Can I show you something really insane? Oh my god! Nineteen ninety nine photocopy. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What is that? It is a photocopy. Of what? It's tiny oh, on my screen, Christian. Oh, it's it a photocopy. Like it's a, a photocopy of a sticker, so an icon sticker. Oh. Doesn't that look so good? Yeah. And so I was like, okay, let's see, let's see. And then I tried to photocopy some. I didn't I didn't know this is possible. I didn't know it turns out so good. And then I photocopied some odds and ends. Oh my god, what the hell? What the heck? I didn't know. It was my first time. It is insane. Oh my gosh. And also, can I just say like a public service announcement to our friends that are that are using aqua painters? They have this at the Dollar Tree now. Water brush. 
two pieces for a dollar twenty five. Friend, it's so good. It it's it's like you know the quality of an Arteza. Have you tried an Arteza before? No. It's like that. But <laughs> it's like it's so awesome. I feel like, oh my god, when I when this happened, I'm like oh. So you can just you can do this. I'm so like, Mimi, how come you didn't tell me? Mimi said she does it all the time and I've never done this before. Christian, my hero just brought me a spare laptop so I can see you now. Oh my I'm god, my hero! My hero too! Thank you, Eric! Okay, uh, but when I type, it says Eric. <laughs> That's fine. So Eric, you know, it's fine. It's we know it's Eric. gonna be you. We know it's gonna be you and it's not gonna be Eric. So I tried... I tried it. Um, the Arteza. It's very good. I think I still have inks left over here. I tried it with watercolor. Now I use black. And it's very good. Can you guys see my screen? So this is my classic. So I still have. So it, it does use a lot of water. If you like painting with your aqua brush, my suggestion for you is go to the Dollar Tree and get these. It's like what Amy Tangerine uses all the time. So I'm going to write Soph's name. So your S-O-F, right? S-O-F-I-A. Like the proper spelling. <laughs> okay. Eve, that's so sweet. Um, you're awesome are you getting us new followers because that's great <laughs> except for I'm now so eric's gonna get new followers <laughs> they're gonna be like oh we want to watch eric craft that's right don't be so look you guys <laughs> look it writes yeah. so very well that is nice it's like and then you can do Yes, and it's a dollar twenty-five for two of them, which is a great deal because an Arteza one is probably eight dollars or something. I gave I gave my Arteza one to my niece, so it writes very well, and it just takes a while to clean it up because it really soaks in the ink, so you have to clean it in your sink. You know what I mean? It's like so good, so good. It writes well and it's it's great. It takes water very well. And your investment is just the water. Dollar twenty five. Peeps are taking to me and I am like what? Like wait, they're talking to you and you're like, wait, what did you say? <laughs> um I could never write like that with a it, it's such a pretty brush. It does amazing work. So it's it's very, very good. You're going to like it. You're, you guys are going to like it, I promise. Let's see. It's right, Stace. So the, the concept for brush is anything that's going down should be thicker. The stroke going down is what I heard. See, you just have to put a little bit, be intentional in your writing. Going down is thicker. That okay, was don't fall off your chair, Christian, but I still haven't tried watercolor. No way! <laughs> oh my gosh. It is, oh, my lotion fell. Um, it is so calming. Like, yeah. it's especially if you're doing stamping and then you're you're coloring and then you're you know it's going to be your ephemera and there's no mistakes in water coloring because you know the blending capability is amazing 
you blend and it's oh thank you so much you guys i love watercolor watercolor is so fun so fun try it this is your opportunity if you guys are on like on the fence for watercoloring you have the option of the dollar tree crafter square brand and they're very good very good so fun see how great it is it's very it's thick though oh well, they have the narrower ones too. They don't have the narrow ones in my Dollar Tree. But, oh, in Dollar Tree. Yeah. Okay, yeah but I, my favorite narrow one is a, the $12 one from Tim Holtz. And I've used it for like 10 years. It's still amazing. That's good. I did not know that they've had this brushes for all. I just saw it. Yeah. This is watercolor paper. Um where is that palette from this palette i've i have customized this palette deb this is from prima and i bought like four of the palettes and i just took my palettes uh, the colors that i like and put them all in one so i have some of some of the other ones like this is a prima brand but i essentially just gutted the other ones and then just put it on this is my main set so this is what i travel with so I do have a travel, a painting travel case. I'm not very good. I'm not like Yvette, who is a professional, but I like to dabble. What do you like to dabble in, Soph? Dabble in, dabble in. I dabble in everything. Um, I don't know. I dabble in watercolor but i'm not the best i just i just enjoy it you know sometimes you enjoy things that you're not good at and that's funny where is that palette from brb someone know. is talking to me no problem eve have fun at your party let them i kind of feel like i dabble in in alcohol markers like i'm not like a pro but i i do it i like it yes and then eventually you're gonna you're gonna be a professional dabbler Mm -hmm. and then so i'm waiting for i'm waiting for michelle to send me the i lost i have lost my mini icon stickers i know i bought three of them i don't know where i put them it's so crazy okay, i bought see. three i received the one and so i haven't found where i put them you know how like when you're crafting it's just a free for all kind of crazy mm -hmm that's me <laughs> you should have seen us in renee's craft room earlier we had like the whole counter space the whole you all the way around with all of our craft everything. oh my gosh how fun how fun i miss uh, renee's room it's absolutely absolutely gorgeous it is deb they sell those smaller watercolor sets tins in timu oh they do oh i didn't know that that's going to be fun. Okay. So this, I am thinking I'm going to, I, I'm sorry. I have to focus on where we're supposed to focus. You know me, I'm just, I'm easily distracted. So I'm like, where was I? I was, I was getting, I was getting these clips and then I got, you know, you know me. You're like, oh, like a squirrel. I'm like, oh, this is what we're doing. Maybe flowers are not appropriate. Maybe bunny things are appropriate. So I am going to decorate you know my. Would be so skin. cute too. Uh huh. One of those butterfly bows on a clip. Um, friend, look. Those are cute. They're so fun. Look it. Mm. Wow. Ask and you shall receive. Ta -da! You totally read my mind. I read your mind yesterday. But you already had them done, yeah. While you were sleeping. And I was like transmitting my inner inner soap. So look, it's so pretty just like this. Look how cute that would be in your package. 
Would that be gorgeously gorgeous? I feel like this is more spring and the other one is. I want to make like a bunny bunny. Something that would maybe a bird of some sort. That's cute. This is cute. Do you reinforce? Do you like? Do you reinforce this area when you make a when you make a make you create it into a pin? I feel like I have the desire to do that. I think I've only done clothespins like once or twice. I feel like clothespins are not super like easy. A, a go to thing to make for me to make. It's I a great it, like, thing I'm not for ensembling. Uh-huh. I just like don't think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I love doing the clothes pins because they're so easy. Um thank you, cousin Sandra, for the reminder. Thanks everyone for doing thumbs up. Eric and I appreciate it, right? So <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Do you like my manly Eric voice? <laughs> he actually has like kind of a deep voice, so. Oh, he does. He, yeah. He's probably like, uh, don't be telling people that you're me. <laughs> <laughs> no, he won't care. Look how cute it is. Just like a clip. Isn't that so cute and fun? That is cute. The oh. jelly beans and then. The oh my gosh! Actually, um, Renee made that as an embellishment from the cup file on her cricket today no way isn't this the cutest paper ask Renee, like that oh. exact same one oh but God. on the cricket so like each little piece it was like 500 different colors no way how yeah. oh my god that's so fun um, so i bought the tickets for the Paige evans crafty event oh my god morning. i am so excited for you i uh, my I'm dream so is to go with you my dream is to go with you are you excited i'm so excited i've never been to an in-person crafty thing like <laughs> so and the only retreat thing that i've been to like crafty thing is the them crafty girls online event that they had which oh was my really god fun but it's life changing it's in person. hell it is life changing. I promise you, you're going to be like, oh, when's no. the next retreat? Sign me up, Eric. <laughs> Take care of the well, children. Er Eric was actually the one who was telling me, he's like, wait, do you want to go to one of the Doodlebug ones? And I was oh like, oh my gosh, yes, no. Eric. Yes, she does. No, well, I told him I would rather go to Paige. Oh, yeah, that's true. Because if you think about it, like that one's here. So, like, I'm not paying. Yeah, for that's here. Air airline. I'm not paying for shipping when I overshop. True. I'm not paying for hotel. I'm not paying for a rental car in case I want to go anywhere, which I probably wouldn't because it's a crafty local. event, you know? Look, like, yeah, I know. It's local. That would be the best like, Then you can't go to Starbucks if you don't rent a car. That's true. And that's going to be crafty money for you. You right, guys. That's what I told him, too. I was like, you know, in worst case, like, maybe I budget the same amount that I would for the other event. Mm -hmm. but that's shopping girl like girl oh. girl my dream is to one day go to colorado and join you guys for a crafty event with Paige evans oh my god i'm gonna that kiss so her <laughs> i'm a big fan i'm gonna be like oh my god Paige evans, I, love you so much. I know well i was telling eric i was like i was like and then she's gonna kiss her two times on the oh, left. I'm gonna kiss her two times on her hands. I don't want to be a stalker. I'm just gonna kiss her hands. How's that? Right. I want to kiss like, her cheeks. You don't want to upset her husband. And I stuff. know. I know. She oh my God, Shanita will be there too. I will oh, be really? there, and there's Shanita. a lot of food places around. Shanita, Renee, how much did you pay? If you don't mind me asking. Three seventy-five for the ticket. So do you have an idea of what they're going to do with projects like? Um, I know there's an album involved. I don't know. It's two days. So there's way more than an album involved, but I don't oh, yeah. remember the rest. That was the one Heck that yeah. like, tickled my fancy, you know? Oh, my gosh. Sophie, you're absolutely going to love this so much. My it's life changing. Like, Hee -hee. <laughs> it's so amazing. I'm excited for you both. I'm so happy you're both going. 
Oh, it's oh, the is bear. it Debbie? Debbie said that's cheaper than three craft chicks. How much is a three craft chicks? Is it four hundred? Shanita, I'm so excited. I'm so We're excited that you guys each other. Each other. <laughs> and guess what else? I already got a hall pass. My um Eric said that well Renee had the fantastic idea. She's like, well, you know, like we're gonna be like intensely crafting. We have to show up early and like all that. Hotel. No, we're gonna have a sleepover at her house. She has an extra oh room. My god. Yeah. Oh my god, I definitely wanna go. I know. I'm like, that's so amazing. Oh my god, you guys are gonna have so much fun. You better do a live. We wanna see and we wanna be like, oh my god. Yep. And we're also trying to um this is unrelated to the retreat, but we're trying to get her video set up going so that she can do lives, she can do reveals. Because if you don't already know, Renee gets everything before everybody else does a reveal video. Oh my and God. And then she's sitting she there needs to set like up her room. mad at people. She's like, why are you doing a reveal? I had this for two weeks already. And I'm like, I know, Renee. But you need a video <laughs> yes renee you need to set up your room i sent you all the links girl she is so, going is she need a going to the three craft chicks or oh my god she's going to the oh my god we're gonna meet Shanita in the three craft chicks i'm gonna die wow, Shanita, you're gonna have a fantastic fall. oh my god did you make Shanita? make sure you tell michelle you want to be in our table <laughs> Yeah, you guys are gonna have a double decker table. I'm so excited. We need to put her time all these girls are on your table. Oh, we need to put her in the chat. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. That gives me so much joy. Oh. Don't worry. 2025, we're gonna go to you think Paige Evans, can you ask her when you see her? Is she gonna do it for 2025? I think she will because she did it last year. She and did. this year she's using they're using her first ever halloween collection oh my god she has a halloween collection i just love her i don't know if it already came out or if it's coming out like no it hasn't come out yet because i buy her collections well i mean i try to too since i found out i bought her but... christmas one though so then yeah brand new halloween collection we're gonna brand be new friend, playing brand new. with Oh my god. But if you go on, you know those posts she's been making? I'm pretty sure the background on those posts is pages from that new collection. So if you want a sneak peek, go look at her post posts from the like sign up post. Mm -hmm. And um I'm pretty sure like that those backgrounds are, are pages from the collection. Can I just say, can I just say, you know what will be a dream, Soph, is, have you seen her, have you seen Paige Evans's craft room? Yes. Oh, my I God. Have. Oh, my God. Imagine being able to see that in person. I would, like, hug the floor. <laughs> I know. I I should I should tell her. I'm like, you if know, there's a I live stakes. 10 minutes away. Paige, I live 10 minutes away. Let's go. I can come help you um, package up your kit. Like, I, I can get I will water. be your worker, um, bee. I can, and Renee. I can make you snacks. <laughs> um, I can clean your bathroom. <laughs> I know how to make the best Spanish rice. Um, yes, I yes, yes. Oh, my God. That are, like, so dreamy. I, <laughs> like, what else can I do? <laughs> you show them your skills. Like, whatever you need. Do you want me to, like... Dry your dishes, fold your clothes. If you hate folding, I got you. I got, I got you. you. I oh my God. Oh my God. I think you should propose that when you see her. You and Renee be like, we're going to be your worker bees if you have any kind of kits. Like, <laughs> tell us what time. And we're going to bring snacks, coffee, pizza, whatever you want. What's your favorite? We're going to cook it for you. <laughs> right. Oh my God. Oh my God, you can see Paige Evans. Oh my God, I wouldn't know what to do. I probably would have a heart attack before that happens. I'm so excited. I, I, I think I am going to like sound like a... I'm going like to be like, cool we need anxiety I medication, bro. <laughs> I know, you're going to hyperventilate. <laughs> and she'll be like, are you okay? And I'll be like, oh, oh, hi. <laughs> like, I'm going to faint. <laughs> People like, are probably going to be over the top. <laughs> 
you're special, aren't you, honey? And I'll be like, I, yes, I, I, <laughs> I love you, Peter. And she'll be like, oh, she's really special. <laughs> It's so funny. <laughs> she is very I guess special. I can control my bladder function. <laughs> I won't be able to control myself. I'd be like, oh my god! Either I go like mute. I feel like either I go mute or I just go go for gold. I don't know. I don't know. It's like. Shanina, like have a, you been to Paige? Did you go to Paige last year? You have an hour to take pictures and stuff. Because <laughs> the classes go pretty fast. Before you know it, your ass is hurting and it's been five hours. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so excited. She need to go to Renee's house. So you guys can have a sleepover. Shanina, are you in Colorado? She are you in Colorado? Colorado? No. I went last year. It was so fun. Oh my god, she went last year and she had so much fun. Oh my gosh. Dang. Oh my god, you guys are gonna have a great time. And we'll be like salivating on the joy. And we'll be like, damn, damn, I should have gone. Oh crap. Next year. Twenty twenty five. Okay. Next year, that's gonna be my goal. I'm imagining having a sleepover. I'm inviting myself. <laughs> right? That's yes. Fine. Renee's been inviting myself <laughs> to your house. <laughs> Just an FYI. <laughs> Dude, the, the long term the long term goal is I want to go on one of Paige's cruise. <gasps> yes. Okay, I when? On one of the Paige's cruise. Not only have I never been on a cruise, but if it was with Paige, when? I'm there. When? I don't know, but remember, she does those cruises. She like, does, but she stopped regular. it during the pandemic, bro. No, they had one, like, well, but it might have just been. I know, yeah, they just got restarted. No, Freddie just got restarted because it stopped during the pandemic. Because I remember seeing it was like, I don't remember what the price was, like 2400 or 3600 or something like that. And it included the the cruise and the kit and the one is coming up in June. Oh my God, O M goodness! One is coming up in June. See, but they signed up for it last year. Yeah, Janine, are you going? Because I remember looking at the price and saying like, this like I mean obviously I'm not going to the next one, but like this is doable. Like I could maybe plan far in advance plan ahead like 2027 say, of some sort or like you know be be good which of course that would be hard but like knowing Correct. that i'm being good because i'm gonna go see Paige on a cruise hell yeah <laughs> be good be good choose to be good mm -hmm. you no, can do it like it's well that like we were talking about hey did you guys hear that um joanne's got bought no way who and so they i i don't know it's like they're not saying or something but it's not one of the other crafty companies and they will no longer be publicly traded currently they're saying that they're not closing stores but it's like i i think it's inevitable that they're gonna close stores you know like they're they have to otherwise they're gonna freaking go bankrupt again so um they they bought them and they're mm -hmm. gonna um i'm guessing like implement some new kind of business plan but i would think that they're gonna close stores me and eric were talking about it and he thinks like they'll close stores down to like because i think they have like 800 i don't remember which he said it's, it's, a billion dollars. it's like less than a thousand um stores but they were claiming that they're gonna leave them all open but eric thinks that they'll probably close down more mm -hmm. than three-fourths of the stores really and slim down well i'm like just speculating because if if they keep all of them open they're paying all of that like rental Overhead. and everything and right mm -hmm. now because of the uh, original joanne's filing for bankruptcy and everything all of that is like nullified. So you have to like recontract with all those places, right? Oh so my now's goodness. now's the time. Otherwise you have to go into a contract with them or a lease. True. 
You know, and I love, love, love campaign. their paper. I love Joanne's I love, paper. Love That's why I'm on a, I'm on a like a mission. Like I need to go to Joanne's and buy like a boatload of 110 pound cardstock. Because yeah. that's the best ever in the world, you know. Oh my God, she, Renee said I'm always welcome at her house. <laughs> I'm excited. They can close mine. It's crappy. Gina said they can close mine. It's crappy. <laughs> well, if they close the art <coughs> store, that would not be that would not be a great loss. That's true. I've never been to the Fair Oaks one. I have the a one, one by my mom sucks, but mine, crappy. like I have two over here. And one that's a little bit farther is like the best Joanne's over here. Oh, <coughs> Joanne, I love, I mean, I, I love their paper too. Yeah, you, you and me, so we love their paper mm -hmm. pads. Mm -hmm. um, I appreciate that Michael's should have closed because they have crappy paper pads, honestly. Dude, did you see they came out with the new the new paper pads? Our old paper pads. Ew, that's gross. That's that horrible. They already came out with like they're not old paper pads. They're like new new printings of old past paper pads. That sucks, and it's still ugly, right? It no okay. So like one of them is oh I forget what it's called, but like they're okay. Really, like there was uh bloomsbury is it good and then there's um it's okay but you you i think you would like it it's blue and pink oh blue and pink like there's all potential. blue and pink and kind of flowery so the there's blue potential. right away being like a star player in the collection you might love it i Maybe. might love it okay it's worth going because i'm and going to Valley. i'm going to um ross tomorrow and ross's neighbor is michael oh. See? Yeah. And then they have this other one. And the other one, I used almost all of the paper in it when, when they had it the last time. Oh. And I had bought it. So I, I rebought that one. Oh. And then they they I don't know if it's still going on. Uh possibly until tomorrow, because I think that was what earlier this week I bought those paper pads. So um possibly if if they still have the deal going on, it was buy one, get one half off. And those paper pads are only $9.99. They're not $19.99. Oh, my. And they also have one that is pastel solid um, mm -hmm. textured um, textured cardstock. Solid There's potential. Solid There's potential core. there. Okay. That one, I'm gonna like, look. I think for sure, for sure, because it'll go with your bunny doodle bug. Doodle bug bunny, is so whatever. cute. Bunny hop. Yes, that. I'm excited because I'm getting to this stage. You know how like the stage of before your birthday mm -hmm, where you're where like, you're like oh I my buy? God, you're like, you're like this. Let's go shop. <laughs> yep. You can't beat their coupons. Is there coupons? Oh, there's one oh, called Travelog. I'm going to look, I'm going to look, I'm going to look. It's so beautiful, even better, even better than yours. Oh, that's good. I haven't seen any. Oh my gosh, so I haven't been to Michael's then. Or my Michael's doesn't have it because when I went to my Michael's, it's old stuff. I do like their Easter it's like banners and decor, but I, I don't normally Jen decorate. From Strawberry Cream, um, she had gone. Uh huh. And that's how I found out um that they had that and then so then i had to go and like check it out you know of course of course of course because everybody else is always getting better stuff than my stores and it, it's a public service announcement you want the public to know about these things right and and i you know gave everybody a warning when i posted mine i didn't yeah. post pictures so you know like you don't like get all like you know hormone crazed and like run off to your nearest michael's like a mad woman <laughs> or anything, you know? and i even i even like put in there you know just like so fyi that, like, i don't get sued or like somebody's attorney doesn't come after me and they're like you <laughs> enabled her you and now, enabled her and now she's bankrupt her, and her husband are fighting, no longer together you know in front of the kids and everything 
<laughs> but I, I, I was like, I'm not trying to enable anyone. That's but, right. Very good. So but... yeah. <laughs> that was very, very considerate of you like, to kind of right? for yes, responsible shopping agreed. Yeah. Check. And I'm like, I have my cart because of your video. I have my cart of whatevs. Yeah. That whatevs is so cute. Let's do a live playing with whatevs, friend. Yes, let's do it. Let's, let's go. It. Oh my god, I need to buy it first. Yes. Let's go. And oh, it's gonna be so much fun. Because that's my colors. <laughs> I feel like the bright with the black it's is so my gem. Cute. Like oh, my. And well, so much angst. Myself. So much it, angst. Even if we don't go with the angst. You mm -hmm. could make like a cheery like sunshines and daisies, rainbows coming out of your not yeah. rainbowy parts. Uh huh. <laughs> from from that, you know. Really? I think no. Um. Well, I love the angst. I feel like I appreciate the angst very much. I do. Same, because like life is not just rainbows and unicorns. It's angsty and real. And well, it's like, okay to be real. I have children, you know, and they like are always doing funny, hilarious things, like funny, annoying, hilarious things that you want to remember. Messy, like you know, my girls are ten right now, about to be eleven this summer. Oh wow, that's and intense! And they're already on their hormones and everything. Like, oh when my, my goodness! Daughters, I keep telling her, I go, I'm not going to be surprised when you just like run into the room one day and you're like mom i'm bleeding <laughs> like some days i i've actually told her i go you have to Are have the bleeding? talk <laughs> you have I'm to bleeding. have the talk because i had a talk with my daughter and and the did you know that there's an underwear in amazon that's no stain you have to get that it's a no stain oh. underwear so they're not gonna have accidents in school you have to have your menses pack where, you know, they it's like a yeah. small one like this with their like in that the bag. I have seen those, the ones that are like made for kids so they're smaller and they don't like ride all the way up like past your butt crack and like you mm -hmm. can see it outside of your pants and mortified. Yes. And they have <laughs> specifically for teenagers, they have like thinner. You know how like old people have like thick I I'm an old person, that's why I like the thick um napkins but they're the young people don't like that and so they have like very thin ones and mm -hmm. you can you can have a kit with like the wipes and the you know the cool. sanitizer so when they when they have their period it's gonna be here's your gift you know right. like you make well, it make a special day to like because they've kind like i We've been over, like, this is what you do. This is how you do it. You know, mm -hmm. like, it's going to happen. Like, they already know, you know, because, like, they they know, you know. they Their mom has it happen every month. Correct. But, but it's different just, when they like, experience yes, it themselves. Right. So we've been over that part. And I'm like, yeah, I think we're going to, like, load you up and get you your stuff already and you're just gonna have it in this pocket don't put anything in that pocket because you mm -hmm. know that's put in there and then it's gonna fall out in front of everyone and you're gonna be like <gasps> modified right exactly so but yeah I think they said some of their friends are already like getting it they're in i know grade. alexa got it at 10 what? years old alexa <gasps> got it at 10. Pobrecita. <laughs> yeah i got it so oh. i got it at 13. what what age did you get it um the summer before eighth grade and it sucks because i was wearing i oh. remember i was wearing white summer. and red oh. checkered jean shorts oh and so then when it came like you knew it came damn. <laughs> you knew from the outside that it came oh damn that's horrible was were you traumatized not that much because it was like there wasn't like that many people around when it happened uh -huh, but what funny. mortified me is my mom is like mexican you know uh -huh. she called everyone she called oh. everyone like oh not not That's like embarrassing you know, like, like she's talking to her sister and oh casually you know like i was already talking to her and so i just like 
oh, Sophia's a woman now or something. Oh no, she like called out to people and like, <laughs> yeah, Sophia got her period. Oh yeah, it was all over her son. Oh, oh my yeah. god, no mom, way. Like, mom, why? <laughs> they don't freaking need to know that. No. I was I was so mad at her. Like, you know, like I can't be mad at her because it's like, it's your mom. And it's a rite of passage. Damn thing she wants. But mm-hmm. I was like, I, I was like, yeah, because I'm like, it's one thing like, you know, you're talking already like for a different reason, but you called out to all the ladies that I know, everybody, everybody, <laughs> and told them. And I'm like, why don't we just make like go to one of those places that make those those vinyl banners and hang it on the <laughs> side of our house so that strangers can drive by and know that I started my period. Like. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh my gosh i was mortified <laughs> i know oh my god but for her she was just like oh yeah yeah <laughs> i'm like oh that sucks i don't yeah. like those stories of oh especially in school man yeah well that's what like we've talked about with the girls that i'm like it's like not a thing like just go to the office like you know get a sweater and tie it around your thing like even mm-hmm. if it's not your sweater like ask okay. your best guy friend or ask you your girlfriend that's next to you like because my girls they they have a lot of guy friends i don't know they mm-hmm. like get along really well with the guys so i'm like they they will be fine they'll be they will protect more you more mortified than you so they will definitely give you their sweater and their sweaters are usually black <laughs> True. Yours That's are insane. different pastel colors, so <laughs> let me tell you, honey. <laughs> oh my god, the memories. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what about you? You said you I got to when I was, I think, thirteen. Were you at school? I don't remember. It's been so long, oh. but I don't. I remember not liking it because it's yeah. so. That's it's like, Renee. oh, ew, ew. Renee said she got it in fifth grade too. That's what grade my girls are in. Fifth grade. Damn, Ten that's early. Old. She said she that was the only one early. in fifth grade to get it. That's early. My gosh. That's I that. still remember. I still remember my uh, teacher in high school. And we had like health and right. economics where, you know, this is in the Philippines. And Miss Eusebio, I think, is the name of my teacher. And I remember, I remember it very distinctly when she said, having your period is your body's way of getting ready to have a child. And I'm like, what? I'm gonna I mean, go technically, she lying because it's your body's way of dispelling because you're not having a child. <laughs> it's like your body preparing to carry a child. And I was mortified. And I'm like, holy moly. And I'm like, you know, I'm like the the eldest of six children. So I know oh. how it is to have a lot Did of kids. Did you have older cousins? N- no, I'm the oh, second. No. I'm like the oldest, technically. And so I'm like mortified. <laughs> like, holy shit. Me? And, you know, as a child, you're like, hell no. <laughs> and when a teacher, you know, when what whatever the teacher says, that's like the holy grail. What your teacher says is fact, right? When your parents say it, you're like, no, that's not true. But if your teacher says it, this is fact. That's how I thought. Like, yeah. if once a teacher says it, this is real. Yes, that's how I was too. Like, when teachers say things, like, it was this like the true. law. And I'd come home saying the things law. and my mo- mom would be like, what? Did th- what? Hold on. I think you got this wrong. <laughs> I'm like, no. No, my teacher. My teacher is correct. Like, right, and she'd like try to like correct me or like it's like this, and I'm like, no, you mm-hmm. don't know. You don't. No, you're no, my, you're my not teacher a teacher. Told me. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. But my dad was a teacher, so he would just kind of like laugh at me. <laughs> Eric said, "All I know is it better not happen when Sophie's away crafting and the kids are with me." <laughs> because this is not my area of expertise. Oh, ex- of expertise. I did have a talk with Jules about it because I am always at work. Yeah. And I told him if it happens and you feel that you need for me to come home, 
Do I will come home. At school or at home? Yeah, when Alexa's at school, and if it's oh. if she's distressed, because you know Jules stays home with the kids most of the time, and so if I'm on shift, tell me yeah. if it's an emergency. If she's distressed, I am getting out of work, and I am coming home. Well, it's such a big thing. Like I it feel is. like it's such it a is. even all the preparing. My mom like told me, you know, like granted, I didn't really like know how to put the thing on or whatever, like. You know, like if she ever ran out or something, I'd have to run and go get her supply out of wherever and be like, bring me one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but like, that's different than like having to apply one and like not drop it oh, or <laughs> stick it to the side of your leg. <laughs> oh my gosh, friend. I did that. I did that and explained to her before she got it. So this is how you do it. This is how you peel. This is how you put it. This is how I you dispose. <laughs> Have it, you have to practice it. You have to show them how to do it because they have to know that you're open to talking about this and you're comfortable. Right. Um, because there would be cramps. There would be moody. They will be moody. And you're like, you can blow up on people just because you're in a bad mood. You can be hormonal, but you should show respect. You know what I mean? Like that kind of conversation. <clears throat> Nobody spoke to me about that. And I'm like, Me I'm like, it just happened and i'm like oh what happened and it happened yeah, no, my mom was like you know you better act the same i don't care if you're bleeding <laughs> <laughs> yeah it happens to every half person half of the entire population of the world is getting this and they're not murdering yeah. people i told them i go you know like so basically because you know w one of them will ask one question one of them because there's two of them mm-hmm and um, what it, one of my daughters asked me, and she goes, why do girls have to bleed? I know it's not oh, fair. Well, oh, she's, she's like, wait, what about guys? I go, guys don't have it. Guys don't have it. Only they don't have, have a gender. Why? I know it's because, not fair. Because your body, basically, once you're getting older, you're going to turn into a woman. And you know, eventually you can have kids, but only if you're a woman. And right. so then your body makes like this, I told them it's like a balloon inside of your tummy. Mm -hmm. And it like prepares in case if you will have a baby. But uh -huh. then if you don't end up having a baby, then it just throws out the balloon. And then that's all the blood and like everything. Uh -huh. <laughs> and they're that's like, true. oh my God. <laughs> Like, yes. Oh my god, a balloon in my fun. belly. Oh my it's god. So fun. It's go, the it's worst. It's not like normal blood. Like liquid water. No. <laughs> it's not. It's like blood. That. It's blood. <laughs> it's actual it's bloody thick. bloodiness. Sometimes it's very thick. Like no, it's normal. <laughs> it's <clears throat> normal. You when me and mind. Julius when me and Julius were dating, I always complained to him. Like it's not fair for women to have to experience <laughs> this. And he knows like when I'm when I'm in my period and I compl I start complaining about it's not fair every month. Like there's no equivalent <laughs> with men. Uh, honestly, Eric, there's no equivalent of this suffering for women. Like why? And then you have to give birth and push a watermelon. Mm -hmm. Seriously. There's no there's no equivalent for men suffering other than kidney stones. And it's not even the yeah. same. There's no tantamount to pain and suffering as yeah. women have. Eric, <laughs> Eric is like the only man. <laughs> Eric He's like the real reason guys don't have them is because we can't handle it. Have you all seen when we get a cold? <laughs> oh my god, the man flu. I know the man flu. <laughs> have you seen a man with a kidney stone? They're on the floor. I've, I've never seen when I was starting my emergency room career. <laughs> <clears throat> that's the first time a 400 pound, very muscular 6'4 man was on the floor. Crying. Kidney stone. Kidney stones hurt. Yeah. And that's like the only equivalent of pain that they, I feel like they can. That's the same. It's like giving birth to a, a rock. Through a very small hole. <laughs> a very small hole and there's no baby shower you know oh you don't even get gifts 
you don't get gifts you don't have a party you don't get to ask what you want to eat for nine months nothing you just throw a stone <laughs> and it's just there <laughs> it's horrible christian be like get your butt off the floor oh yeah Oh, I was no, scared. Christian no, has it's a very pounds. good and gentle bedside manner. He is 400 pounds, number one. And I'm like, I was scared of that dude. I'm like, hey, he's on the floor. It's like, oh, he has kidneys. My charge nurse is like, he has kidney stones. It's fine. Get him up. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, sir. You know, I just started. And I'm like, sir, <laughs> can I help you? Let Hi, me help I'm you. A nurse. Uh, uh, I can um, help you. Uh, um, come here. <laughs> come here, honey. You're doing this in front of everyone. Everybody's looking at you. <laughs> you're okay. You're 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 good. You're gonna be and so, You look really strong. You look really really strong, sir. You got this. Um, That's what I tell my son. Like he'll tell me, I know. Like he'll tell he'll tell me either like no because he doesn't want to or no because like he actually thinks he can't. And I'll go no it's fine it's fine like right now we're we're on the ends of potty training like he he's doing really good but he'll say oh wow go. and i go no hold it hold it you can hold it like when we're in the car or somewhere uh -huh, uh -huh. like, that he has to hold it for a while and i'll go you're so strong you're strong you can do it and he goes i'm strong i'm, I'm strong <laughs> i'm like oh <laughs> he's so cute i'm strong i am strong I'm mommy strong. And he's also in his phase where he tells me, I, I said, I don't know what I was telling him. I go, Stanley. And he goes, Mom, don't call me Stanley. I go, why? And he goes, call me big boy. And I go, okay. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so cute. That's adorable. Like, Hi, right, mommy. Big boy. <laughs> hello, hello. Good night. <laughs> but in the same boat, like, it works, like, when I want him to get him to do something. And he's like, you know clearly not agreeing with my plan and i'll be like come on big boy and he goes oh, okay mom <laughs> oh that's so like, sweet yes. that's so sweet deb said deb said in the chat how would you handle it now i'll be like hell no hell no get out of my floor sir uh -uh. Mm -mm. no L let's have you sit down and i'm gonna need a pee here's a pee cup Go ahead and go to the bathroom. We're going to need that specimen because that's going to be an hour that you don't have to wait because we're already going to send your urine to the lab. How's that? That's one hour less of you waiting. And he'd be like, okay. <laughs> baby love. Let's go. Let's get some pee because, you know, you have to like have them focus on something else other than the pain, like a task. Mm -hmm. Because this is an emergency. Like, right, like we gotta get through this, or you're just you gonna got be this. You got you got this. I mean, I don't want you. I don't want you to wait any longer. So let's do this. Let let's get your urine. Okay, come on. Let's go to the potty. <laughs> <laughs> do you need help? I have uh, <laughs> you can. Uh, no. He, if he's four hundred pounds, no. Really, he falls on me. Him? He, I'm not holding him. He's an adult no, man. Longer. He's peeing by himself. No, not you hold him. The walker can hold him. Here's he the walker. Need a walker. He doesn't need a walker. He walked from the parking lot to here, and that's very far. You know what I mean? Like, you're fine. You were able to survive from the parking lot, which is a mile away. Really? No, not really. I'm exaggerating. Oh, I'm like, but we have a parking Maybe lot that's super far. The emergency. Yeah. So if I am playing with the KS Crafts dice, look how cute this stopper is. I feel like this I is mean, my technically favorite. Technically, I am too, but look. Let me see yours. Christian, this is my first real attempt at flowering. Oh my God, they're so pretty. I love the flowers. They're so, so pretty. I love the colors. And I feel like I have to cut them in all of the Hold shades. On. Look, I put the other ones in here. Look at this. This was another die that I did. But I already shared it. But um, hold on. This was from the January release before they went on break. These ones are done. They're so pretty. What's your center? These ones, um, these over here don't have centers yet. I bought them at Hobby Lobby, but the bag is over there. 
and yeah so hold on come on come out there's one stuck in so there. raquel from paints and glitter made some beautiful flowers today on oh, her yeah? live i want to see yeah i've deb, been watching people making flowers because i don't know what i'm doing deb said she is in flower making mode right now too oh yeah flowers are so fun they are but it is like a whole process you know what i'm saying it is it is and it's like a work of art right like your style could be totally different with the same dye i need to be gina said she needs to be in flower making mode but she's not and she said she's in patty swap what is a swap about um gina flowers, all oh flowers. is it flowers you have to make like five gajillion flowers to five gajillion mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. more than one gajillion <laughs> Five gajillion five is gajillion. a lot. Mm -hmm. And then you have to make different, like, not just one style. Oh, she wow. She wants it to be all these different. Oh, that's I'm intense. trying to fit these all on my hand. Hold on, it's not working. My fingers are long, but my hands are not, like, really that big. Five gajillion is intense. Mm-hmm, that's what I'm saying. Thank you for the link. Okay, I think I put them all in my hand. Oh my gosh, let me look. I don't know if you can see them. I love it. This is the KS Crafts dye? Yeah, the poppies. Oh my god, I love it. That's my favorite of all of KS Crafts flowers. Is the newly released ones because they're so beautiful. And remember that center, that flower center that they released a while back? Remember that flower center? Mm -hmm. uh, these? These ones? Remember the flower centers that they released? It was. Oh, yes, yes, you remember? yes. Yeah. I didn't get them though because, like, literally, this is my first attempt. Like, I've made, like, maybe, like, a few flowers, you know what I mean? But not, like, actual hardcore like shaping them and all this uh, uh -huh, this one is isn't it fun it is fun i love this because of the emboss yeah it makes it so special i feel like and then with the gold like look i put this in in on the butterfly you see the butterfly on mine, i feel like you can't see it that much look Be i think it's because of the shadow of the they're so pretty so I love the color choices that you made. I like the yellow ones with the black centers. So pretty. But they're so pretty, pretty. So I yeah. tried to add them to the centers of butterflies. The only thing is my jemmies keep falling off. I need to use a different glue. Do you the use a glue gun? No, I tried. What's that one called? Uh, I don't know. It's like a yellow and blue label on the tooth. I need to have something <laughs> done. I just need flowers. <laughs> I don't know. So pissed, but they are pretty. I got the UKS Crafts plate. I have to add freaking chipboard. Oh my God, why? 12 flowers, each for three people. Wow. And a holder. And all need to fit by nine by twelve envelope. Oh my god, that's intense. That's what I'm saying. Like that's a lot. Oh, that's a lot. That. That's like twelve flowers per person, which means thirty six flowers. Ooh, that's a lot of flowers. But the good thing is that it, you know, one pass will give you so many already. And I just. I just am loving the butterfly, the 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 one that's like the layers. That's the one with the edges. Mm hmm. The multiple so layered ones. They're so pretty. I oh, need to make one. more. Yeah, I need to make more. Honestly, of those, I and then like it, But <coughs> I don't know. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Um, I don't know, like. 
if I like, I haven't found like the proper embellishment for the front yet. So I feel like mine's are too plain. Like they're not. I nice. just added a bunny. Yeah. And then they're so cute. I put like magnet in the middle and then added these paper. I feel like it's so pretty. I use a chipboard shim to get my lines. Oh my, that's annoying. Even on specialty paper. But I can't stop making them. Oh, oh yeah, I was going to ask. Are you also part of the swap? The flower swap? Because Me? No. No, Shanita. Because she oh. said... Oh, maybe. Shanita liked it a lot. Look how cute it is that they're all in one container. That's pretty. Like having them all like decorated mm -hmm. and fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna in my tray and see. My bag toppers are still plain too. I I don't know. I just just like have them my, on hand. My layering them. mojo was like gone when I was like trying it, and I was like, I'm just gonna leave them for until like, leave them until you get inspired. Yeah, I feel like now there's still other stuff that I'm not done with. So I'm like. I just keep bouncing around, you know, like it'll get done. I'm still like working. Absolutely. It, so. Absolutely. It's not a job. No. It has to be like really fun and it has to be inspiring for you. I feel like crafting should be that. It's yeah. something that you go to that shouldn't be so much pressure. Yeah. Like the moment you start feeling pressure, that's there's something wrong and that should stop. Yeah. Do you because um crafting should give you joy? Right. Period. Isn't it supposed to be fun and amazing? Yes. And and unicorns and rainbows. I just take scrap paper and go to town. That's so much fun. This is why I hardly swap. Boo, no place for anything. It's swap I so, uh, food for me. Time swap. Laughing. Is hard. Like, oh, I mean, there's a deadline. I am not very good with deadlines. I'm the opposite. Like, you're if good I with have deadlines. The deadline, like, it's jam time. You know, like fire up, fire. I, I can't do the whole like, oh, this paper, that paper. Should I do this day or that day? Like, no. Like, you're on a time limit. You know, like let's go. Just, let's just jam. Like, just get it done. It's gonna be pretty. Like, pick pretty paper and. You know what I mean? Just do it. Just wow. start making stuff. Profesh. And then, like, That's a professional mindset of a swapper. <laughs> <laughs> I did not get that mindset. Yeah. It's hard, the time crunch for me, because of like design team timelines. Right. Those, I, I tend good. to prioritize. I feel like... Do I? I think so. Sometimes I try, but I feel and like they were talking about you. I'm not the best. I'm not the best when it comes to like gonna be somebody else better than you, but that's not what it's about. Crafting mm -mm. is a personal journey. Thing. Yeah, agreed. The joy. It's, like it's good to like hold space to be inspired by other people and grow, but. It's like you know what I mean. You are never going to be that other crafter. You Correct. Can, like absorb some of their greatness, you know, like mm -hmm. the way they do things, like how they are organized. You know the. I don't know. You know, like their special powers. You mean right? Like certain parts of how they craft, but. You're never actually going to be that person. You're still you. You. Like, that's why it's great. Because everybody is different. And their crafting is different. And mm -hmm. their style is different. And their techniques might be different. Yeah. And, like, they could have totally different end results. But that doesn't mean that they're not both great. Agreed. That's why I'm always a proponent to like crafting should always, always, forever, always bring you joy. 
Right. If it doesn't, then there has to be something that needs to be changed. Yeah. Because it's not doing what it's intended to do mm -hmm. in your life. I really enjoyed, but I'm really being selective on what I get back because I want to use and not hoard, says Shinita. That's very true. I tend to hoard everything that I get, which is really, really bad. Which is very bad. But that's why I don't join a lot of swap. <laughs> <laughs> because that's I funny, really... Renee says, you're talking about me. <laughs> I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about all of us. All of us. Because it's so precious. Like, Rachel always tells me, why are you hoarding the stuff that I gave you? Use that. That's from three years ago. I'm like, nope. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> No, that's mine. No. My friend made it specially for me. Don't talk to me like that, lady. Hell no. <laughs> I'm like, no. And then I tell her, why are you not using my stuff that I gave you? <laughs> She's like, this you is tell not about me, me to use this it. This is about you, Christian. <laughs> Christian has a lot of joy. Look at all the stuff she makes. <laughs> I bet 90% of the people who swap hoard what they get. Absolutely. I feel like yeah. it's so special. Like, you know, you tend to put it in a safe place and then you rediscover it eventually as time goes on. Like, where maybe, did I put that? Maybe you'll be ready to use some of it. Yes. I tell you, okay. my average for being able to use things is probably three years. That's like a yeah. good enough time to have, have it hang out in my craft room and be, be held precious and things. Right. Come on, my God, clogged and it doesn't want to unclog. I did a very, very contrasting black floral jelly. Oh, I made mine, but I don't think I'm done with it. I'm probably going to change this to gold and put one on the inside. And then... Um, Winnie said that those extra pieces, the daisies, mm -hmm. Fit yeah on here like i think it fits on this side or something does it no it doesn't that's what she said oh the daisy yeah oh that I extra didn't piece cut. does it fit right here i didn't cut it i didn't no, cut no, it no, either. no no that the wiggly piece there's like I did. a wiggly extra piece yeah i didn't cut those did you cut them either. no so if that's true i'm gonna try it maybe i'll put some gold or something over here i'm sticking to Look, like oh, these collections I have it over here i don't think i have it darn it and I using it for that, over the rainbow. that that toe dye the one that you recommended that hannah make it into a dye is that one yes the one that has a new shaker and yes. I put the daisies on on the side of that one. Oh, that's cute it, it, it is cute Oh, that's so, just cute. so you guys know it. It's not like as perfect of a fit as this, but it fits nice. Like oh, it, nice. it doesn't look like it's out of place. Oh, that's on the side good. Of that bag, the that's perfect. I sketched that one and I sent that to her maybe like a year ago, and I'm so I glad remember. she finally did it. Cause so I'm like, that was like a beautiful, beautiful shape that I got from Doodlebug, and I'm like, um, let's make this into a die. <laughs> Yeah. And she did, which is like awesome. I love Hannah. She's so sweet. You know what I you know what we should ask Hannah to do? Mm -hmm. Is remember she did like the Valentine mini album and Erica did the Easter mini album, like the words. And, like the oh, one yeah, Erica yeah, yeah. did Easter. I liked, I liked the KS Craft like Valentine. Not saying the Easter one wasn't pretty. But I like the Valentine's the love one because of how it had like each letter was a page, you know. What I yes, mean? that was so cool. To it me. was like, so beautiful. I love that it's separated. Um, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna ask her to make a summer one. Would that be so fun? Yeah. For S U M M E R every page. I feel that that will be amazing. So I'm reinforcing the handle. I cut. 110 pound cardstock twice and then i'm gonna have the handle reinforced with black and then i'm gonna cut 
and do it in green again. I keep crafty stuff forever, says Renee. If I give it away, you won't have it anymore. <laughs> well, they make embellies that are pretty and put them in pretty books and whatnot. And if you take the embellies out, it ruins the book. True. True, true, true. I've unlocked a new level. If I use what I received, it's because I bought the die to try to recreate it later. Smart. Good yeah, job. And then you're like double, like you're going to be using your stash with your new die. Yeah. And you're yeah. using the embellishments that somebody gave you. So it's like, yes, it's a win win. And win and win. It's and a win win. Somebody else wins if you send them the embellies that you recreate. Oh, good job, Stace. That's a great formula. That's a great formula for like, oh, it's a sign because I already have the die. That is so, so fun. Okay, I feel like the handle see? should be green or red. What do you think? Because oh, I'm yours? using red, 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 it because I'm using like this. I'm using this collection from over the rainbow would be cute. Like, would you take the time to cut all these flowers and add them, attach them? I don't think I would. Mm, to yeah, decorate? I don't, I don't know. If I'm in prison, no, but like if I'm in couple, prison, maybe, maybe. Like a couple, you know oh what God, I mean? Because you think about it, like, I'm probably going to add something bigger to embellish this, maybe. Like, Agreed. Like, no, that's blending too much. Uh, Get rid of the embellishment, said so. It's a win-win. <laughs> ladies i am heading out i'm single for four days and i want to get some stuff done good night gina number one how are you and have a great weekend and i miss you friend i wish we all live in the same neighborhood like that would like be amazing and that would like be a word and then like some of those gold flowers the embellished yeah. ones, squiggly ones I did cut the flower. The flower is super cute, honestly. Did you cut the flower pot? The flower pot is adorable, but I don't know how to yes. use it, though. Um, how do you I use did. it? I have it here, so I did I cut it. I don't know how to use it. Used it. Um, and actually, I... some Okay, I cut it, but I want to make it into a shaker, and I haven't cut the foam yet. Oh, um, a shaker. I was going to think, like, you're going to put green oh, on the did leaves you do the bees? did you do the bees yet no did because i'm trying bees? to figure out the colors i like the bees Ooh, i'm trying girl. to figure out the colors to doodle bugify it oh yeah no i just i remember i'm trying to do it all in that same collection or whatever mm -hmm. so, and what collection are you using it's not a collection actually it's um a paper pad from from joanne's Okay, I have not cleaned these up, so some of them still have like glue that I need to rub off. Uh huh. But with that disclaimer in mind, we won't see the glue. Don't worry. And if we do, we don't care. Can you see that? I love the font, though. Oh, let me see. Oh my god, I can see the. Gl Did you use gold? Yeah. Gold and black. No, navy blue with like gold. Oh, wow. Little sparkles on it. Oh, my gosh. I was going to copy. That's so, so cute. So and I was going to do it glitter early. Wings. Huh? White glitter wings. White glitter wings. That's so special. Yeah. I, so am... I like them. Uh, I want to try to find what it looks like. What because, I will say though, it's uh -huh. like, even though it's not like that many pieces, it kind of seems like a lot of pieces. A lot of what? Pieces. A lot of pieces. Because this is only two sets, but like, you have like the body, and then you have this little skinny piece, which is like so skinny too. It could also be because I was using glitter, so then. I had to use more glue so that it would stick to the glitter paper, but oh, then it moved down on the metallic lovely. paper. So just keep that in mind when you're doing the specialty. Because the metallic, the the metallic paper, it will show everything, everything. even like your finger 
plant. Like your finger yeah. holding onto it. Man, yeah. this is what I was trying to do, but I, I couldn't figure it out yet. You know the doodle bug? Oh, that's cute. B. So it only it doesn't have like so black or do, anything. Do um it's you you need like a bright yellow or like a dandelion yellow and then yeah. a pastel yellow and then a bright blue and then you'll get that that doodle bug one and you draw on the eyes with the black with the gel pen yes that's what ultimately what i want to do and then the flowers the shadow flowers i was like i have no idea what to do with it because i'm like you know what i'm not gonna use it but i feel like there's potential there i'm trying to find the bee so, like I said, I want to make it into a shaker, but I haven't cut the foam or the acetate. But. So, how many layers? Oh, this one is the B. And then I um fussy cut the leaves so that they could be different colors. I need to. Am I holding a cup? So, this is going to be yellow. Yellow and dark yellow. The wings is going to be blue. You can see me. Which one's about oh, that's so pretty. That is so pretty. So you, you use black. Where is it? Hold on. I'm like going the wrong direction. I can't see on the tiny screen. Can you make her big, Christian? How do I make her big? Click on me. Click on you. Okay. Solo layout. Oh my gosh. That's so pretty. So do you use gold? Yeah. Hold on. Let's see. Can I get my light to move? Does that make it better? Not really, huh? So you use the gold part. As the outline. And then since it doesn't have a leaf dye, you just I colored just it. Cut that bottom piece out of it and then cut it so that it'll fit back there. Oh, that's so pretty. Or no wait. I cut I I cut the the, the green for the whole thing, right? And then mm -hmm. I cut it out of white so that the whole flower would be white. And then mm -hmm. I fussy cut, like I layered the gold one on top and fussy cut so that it's just barely under the gold and then glued it like that. That's so pretty. And do you love the fonts? What are your thoughts on the fonts? For this flowers or for? Yeah, they have the hello, flowers? they have friend and they have bloom. I wish they had shadows to be honest. Oh, I made shadows for mine. You made shadows for yours? Yep. Hold on, that is now. intense. Okay, let's see. Okay, so I did them in three different colors. Hold on. Where is it? I did this green. Mm hmm That's pretty. Um, that green. Okay, that's better. You just fussy cut it. Is it easy to fussy cut, friend? Um, if if you're a fussy cutter, which I know you are, yes. I, I thought it was not too bad at all. Um, I just so, glued them on a piece of paper and imagined like the distance that I wanted for the outline, you know? Mm -hmm, and then mm -hmm. I just glued them all on the paper and then I fussy cut one by one, you know, like bomb. So can you show us again the, the after you show us the words? So your colors are green, yellow, and blue. Oh, it's a printed oh. paper. Can you show it's us the bees? Paper. The bees again? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, the and then because we want to see it up close, Deb wants to see it too. Terracotta pots are cute. Yeah, I didn't have a terracotta paper, so that's actually the six by six ink. It's like ink, alcohol ink imitating pattern or whatever. Uh huh. That's cute. That's cute. Would would that would the live end if I answer the phone? Uh, I think so. I don't know. I don't know because it's on Streamyard. I don't think it would. You don't think so? Okay, let me. But my daughter's calling. Oh, uh, that might be important. I know. Okay, let me see. Okay, Chris. Yeah. Ricotta, are you hungry, Sandra? I will could use some ricotta too. Terracotta, she says. 
I know, but she says, she, Sandra put, Stace, I put ricotta and I go, are you hungry? Because now I'm hungry. I know. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to myself. Wait. <laughs> and then what else did I make? Ooh, I used the collection to paper piece a stamp. That turned out really cool. I tried something new, so and I added so yes, I have you. I'm having live on the phone. Oh, wow. And then and then, you know, the the laptop is here. Uh -huh. And then I'm holding on to my phone because I was looking at your stuff. Uh -huh. And then we're going to have you on solo. It's and then if you click the, the single view mode, if you tap it, it'll toggle between people. And then you can just stop on the person that you want to be by themselves. See? Oh, fancy, fancy. I've never known about this. I barely discovered this the other day when me and Fritzy and Cruz went live together. Oh, it's so much fun to see people's faces too. Uh huh. And you can do the same thing with comments. I haven't tried that one, but I think it's like the same that you could pick somebody's comment and it'll go up on the screen like them crafty girls. Oh, so fun. So fun. And then how many can this? I know like StreamYard is six six people but if you have the paid one it's 10. i think so I, that's gonna, I don't be, too, know. I just that's gonna that. be too crazy though morning bex hi bex good morning let me try i hope that it doesn't end let me just call my daughter okay i hope it doesn't end me but i'm here though right let me see so yeah i've just been like slowly trying to cut everything everything you guys who's going live with christian next She was saying that she wants to get more people to be on her lives with her. How is the how is the lag compared to last time, you guys? Because we're trying a different audio. I mean, after we got the internet connection stabilized. So let us do this. Oh, wrong. Can I choose who's going to be the center portion? Like, I want you to be the center. There you go. I think so. I think you can toggle it. Keep, like, click it again. That's so, this is so the... cool. I've never, I've never used um, yeah. StreamYard with my computer ever before. This is an amazing setup, guys. I encourage oh. you guys to, to do this. Hi, Shika. And then Hi, there's Shika. more, like, there's more, like, audience. Oh, nice connection i feel like you just have to put makeup on though and your craft room cannot be like this messy like mine oh you're like you're like like erica from scrap diva with her double cameras now oh my god so perfect so with my laptop <laughs> this is so fun you can like do multiple so fun okay And equal equal um exposure. I want my face to be exposed oh, too much. Oh, I like that view with the three. It's that like would have been every... perfect when me and Fritzy and Cruz went on. I don't think I discovered that one. We were like that weird trio with one underneath. Oh my God, this is so much fun, Renee. Once you're ready, we can do this. This is going to be so much fun. Oh, oh, it's so messy, Cousin Sandra. Oh my God, look at that. But it's good enough. There's floor space to walk. I can reach my stuff. It's like a Zoom, right? It feels more, Um, I feel like it feels more. More Zoomy? 
<laughs> more more cozy and more intimate when when you have this view the face to face yeah definitely i think i like this one oh i like i, I like you know the why? because mm-hmm. you said that you liked the instagram lives better and i think this feels more like an instagram live right and it has more people joining in which is fun mhm i don't have the best lights friends i have the cheapest lights i promise like let me show you like that's the lights that i have and my husband's had this for 25 years and it's from ikea and it's broken and these lights that i have are like 12 dollars from amazon that i bought like maybe 4 years ago or 3 years ago and it doesn't have to be like ridiculously expensive lights it's it's like how you set it up i feel like but my mm-hmm. table is it, i know deb and the friends who've been to my house they they saw my setup and it's like very tight my room is very tight but it's it's good enough i can see your desk better oh that's perfect we can see your desk better so your desk is so beautiful look how pretty that is with all the flowers <laughs> oh my gosh it's so pretty this is what i have on my desk I'm going to do a little a pretty a little. So this is what I have. I do like the font and thank you for thank you for inspiring us with the B. I'm trying to do the doodle bugification of this. The, the how you said like use your patterns. Like patterns don't just have to be for like certain things. You could just I tell you that's what I'm af- I'm afraid of I am like so traditional when it comes to using patterns it's very traditional so I feel that, like like it's kind of surprising to me because you're such a like no use your dies in like not the intended function yes i know but it's different like using patterns for non It's like very same. non thing you always I know it, like I you know I have I, to use it how they different. told you to like you don't always have to listen wait it's much bigger than before so it's better i'm not, i feel like you with like, for example if you're going to host the live on your channel so we can yeah. have your face because you're the host i don't do face okay so if if well, somebody mostly hosts, because like my my area if you remember is my dining room table. Oh, that's true. And there's like shelving back here, like there's cereal behind me, like boxes of where they have the cereal <laughs> and like the noodles and like So I'm not like we're not doing that. <laughs> It's never going to happen, folks. Right, like that. No, thanks. But I've never experienced this before, which is so much fun. I didn't know that this is an option and just learning. Imagine my face is not here, but like somebody else who's crafting and this is more like a better layout i feel like this is i'm looking i'm just mm-hmm. clicking on all the layouts that's not the best i feel like group layout this is the best for 3 yeah and then it for fills three, the I entire think, yes. space yeah yeah cuz i don't like that like how one of them is big on the bo- like you don't barely see the other screen Oh, let's do a live. I do do live at my house, so. She said do live at her house. Yeah. I'm telling you, I told Renee, so okay. My amazing wonderful Eric um mm-hmm. yes, got me the amazing cricket Eric. life. I had been talking about the cricket life and life light. I keep saying life. I don't know why. Anyways, um I had been talking about the cricket light because Wendy told me about the cricket light. and then it was on my wish list for a while but it's like it's not like the most expensive thing ever but it's not cheap and so i had what is it to light time. is it a, a light? light yeah oh a light like a light source yeah like a light like hold on watch okay you're going to be blinded a little bit but just so that you can see it like this is the desk light over here oh that's a cricket light see? and it uh-huh. has like you know how they have those boom sticks or whatever that like move and you can like swivel it and whatever it to me reminds me of a boom stick but it's on another like pole thing mhm and so you and can like good. move it across watch like you'll see you can move it across and it like goes 360 
and then you can move it up and down so it's like nice or whatever Mm -hmm. um but because i was not specific because i didn't know you know like i i've never seen the light in person i only knew about the light because wendy told me how much is it if you don't mind me asking he it was on sale i had seen it for like i want to say like a hundred bucks on sale or less than that Mm-hmm. So I would just wait because Amazon periodically does like a nice sale on them. Oh, um, I like y'all. And then it's just get it like, like on a really good deal, you know? Yep. I hear but you. since you know how he's very plotty on me and he like does these plots and then gets me know. stuff. He's so, so sweet. He, oh he, goes, he goes, you don't need that light. You don't need that light. And I was like over here like, oh, okay. I don't need that light. And then... <laughs> Good night, Shanita. And then it was because he got the light and ordered it for like, I don't remember what like gift giving holiday it was, but he bought it for me and I was like, oh, you, he, I think it was for my birthday. That's so sweet. And I was like, you, I was like, I told you I wanted to get that light. And he goes, yeah, but I couldn't let you get the light. Because oh I my God, he light. listened, he listened. Yes. And that's like the sweetest. Say the Eric is such a keeper. Oh, or the desk lamp. So what did he do, Christian? Tell me what did he do? He got the floor light and the desk light. Oh my God! Exceeding expectations, like yeah, the best. Always. Eric, you're such a keeper. And then okay, and then they sent it without the like. There's like this pole part, you know, that holds the the lamp up, right mm-hmm, or whatever. Mm-hmm. They sent it without that piece. So Why? I had like. I don't know, but it wasn't in the box. So then we had to write to them and we're like, well, it doesn't have that piece. So like, it's not a floor lamp. It can't stand. Correct. So they're like, oh, okay. Well, um, like we'll we don't you just have that part by itself. So yeah, they're, and we're like, okay, so where do we need to send it back? Are you going to send us a label? Or they're like, no, we don't want it. It doesn't have that part. So they just sent a new lamp. Oh, dang. So I was telling, I was telling um, Renee to, I basically have two brand new lamps because I haven't set up the, the floor lamp. So maybe like, perfect. because her, her husband is like an engineer or something. I bet you oh, could no, he out how build, to get He builds her stuff, crafty, lamp. craftiness. Yeah. And then we could just have the extra lamp at her house. Yes. And we could do lives in her house when I come over. <laughs> And I told her, in, in the meantime, we can just, I'll just bring my desk lamp with me. Perfect. And I'll bring my ring lamp with me. Hi, Gina, number two. And my laptop, and we can just go live from her live. Home because then we don't have to set them all up. I'll bring my yes, mic yes, and my Yes, yes, and yes, yes. We want to see you guys. We want to see you. When are you guys going to go live? I don't know. But. Renee. I, I, I was trying to convince her today, but. I know. I like, sent her the to, invite, you too. You have to, like. <laughs> bug her and tell her i sent her the invite i'm like just in case <laughs> mm-hmm. she said come over love to have you <laughs> but she <laughs> says that there's too many shadows because her her craft room is like you know a bona fide like real magazine legit craft room legit yes. magazine it's and like her, you have to be interviewed in that craft room. Are in the ceiling like actual real lights and so like she has a bunch of different lights there's like nine or 12 or a bajillion that are like wow. over her table you areas. Guys. But when you turn them on, like they all turn on, you know, and like you can do different like gradiated light, like dimmer or brighter or whatever. But because it's all at once, instead of like you could dim these Focus. ones and not those ones, then it creates a shadow. And so she yep. doesn't like that shadow, even though I think it would be fine. <laughs> But Renee likes things like really nice. So hi, Gina number two. I think Renee. She doesn't um, want to settle. <laughs> she wants to be profesh, profesh level yeah, for her first like, life. <laughs> you guys, if you see Renee's craft room, oh my god, it's like Gina level, Gina number one level. Because I've only seen like, oh Deb and Patrice's craft room is that level too. If you guys see Deb's craft room. It's like that level. <coughs> Patrice, you're like that level. I'm like, whoa, this is Sorry. amazing. I'm so glad you're here, Gina number two. We have been crafting. Hi, Gina S. 
for two hours and 19 minutes. And this, the, I love the black, actually. I'm surprised. I didn't anticipate that I'm going to love the blackness of it with, like, mm. hits of color. When I switch it's this like light edgy. off. It's like I know. It's fabulous. I'm like, I'm going to um, a black party. Yeah. Look how fabulous that is. And, of course, you know, you're going to decorate it with more stuff anyways but i love the fact that if this is the handle i cut three of the black additional and then i'm gonna cut like a red one as decorative but it's so sturdy i suggest that you guys do that it's so fun it's so much fun that it's solid it's like this is this is 110 pound card stock from joann's don't forget to stock up on your 110 pound card if they go bankrupt or they close because this is solid and it's only one pass and yeah i didn't use a shim i didn't use the precision plate it cut very very well and it's mm -hmm. so pretty actually isn't it so pretty do you find it do you find it i, I feel this like one. this is my like, favorite that was one of the, like the, well honestly like i really liked almost all the dyes in this release and so like it's worth if, getting if i would have bought so all the ones that i'm like oh i want that one and that one and that one and, you know like so i'm like no nah, just get the bundle it's and the I, bundle I yeah like it's when so i saw the price of the bundle compared to how many dies was in the bundle i was like get good out deal. of here good Are deal you kidding like is it 80 plus so good it was like 80 bucks I know it's pretty good. Look, how, like I feel like this is my favorite. So this is my favorite dyes. of all the jelly. There's so many dyes, so many dyes. Honestly, and it's like big. You know, like the picnic one. It's so big. Yeah, I I really like that picnic one, but I think my favorite from this release mm -hmm. is. What's your top it, three? Let's talk about top okay, three. Top three, it's the tulip bow that comes in the picnic basket. So, like, oh. since it's a dice set, I'm going to say the picnic basket because because mm -hmm. I like that box. I like packaging. And it has that bow. So, that for me was, like, a big a big Bonus. one because that bow is, like, the most. It's so good. I okay, that's tulips. number one. Tulips are my favorite. And then... Oh, um, tulips are gorgeous the the butterfly bow the butterfly bow yes i'm gonna put what my favorites are the butterfly bow and the butterfly bows are so adorable and so easy to make i'm so surprised <laughs> what else let me see hold on i'm looking at other stuff that i made and um... this is my fave top three for me <laughs> that's my top three and maybe the but I haven't used the other one, so the that's butterfly. why I'm this one. Oh, the butterfly is so pretty too. This one, though, isn't it? Yes, that's so pretty. This is like super elegant. Rachel loves this also. Is yeah, that gorgeous? Really like the mari the mariposa. Yeah, is this called yeah. mariposa? Yes, it's called mariposa. And this one I love because this could be like a like a magnet. I haven't made the kite yet. Did you do the kite? I, I'll, I'll do the kite tonight because I did cut it actually. But I again I cut it I cut it with um let me show you. And then look that that blue sparkly paper on the back. Oh just, it's so pretty. The that. blue is gorgeous. So this one I did cut the kite. But I was in the living room, mm -hmm. and this one, I'm using, like, over the rainbow. Mm. And I think, I think I'm going to do, like, green. That's smart to cut out like small pieces from behind. Yeah, because you're not going to see it anyways. It's like, it doesn't matter. But this Girl, would be super like cute. Christy Marcotte hacks. <laughs> she does that she does so look it's gonna be so cute for all the colors i i didn't i was in the living room and i was too lazy to go upstairs so i just cut multiples of the 110 pound cardstock 
when I'm on a die cutting mission, I sit on the floor in the living room and like there's all this no like, die cutting shed, and, like piles of die cuts, but they're not put together. And I'm just like cut, 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 cut. And then there's a trash pile of like the sheets that I can't cut anything more out of or like not what I want to cut out of it. So I just put them in a pile. Oh, look how cute it is. And then imagine that there's like um like a fairy peeking or like a little critter that's peeking on there. I feel like I can also make a box and make it like a 3D box and this is the top portion of it. Would that be so cute? Um I was gonna do green as a decorative outline or red. Same as what I did before. Same as what I did here is just having like the black with the major pops of color. Right. Oh, I like I, it with I the feel like the bunny is such an easy way to decorate it. Look, it's just like, and then have these on twine, you know, just on twine. Right. And then have that hanging. And then imagine this is like a 3D box. Then you open it and then there's stuff inside. I think that would be super cute. And this is either green or red or yellow or whatever color or pink. Right. But that would be so cute with like the black with a major, major How pop of color. How big is that little daisy, the round daisy that comes with the daisy bag compared How to big the is kite? It? Compared to the kite. Daisy with a bag. Where did I put that? That red one. Where is it? Is it on my table? Uh, I can't see it. Oh, it's here. Okay, this one. Uh, I put it here. The visual is a little bit laggy, so I can't see it. What if you switched out the bows on the tail for little daisies? Like this? Like, you know, on the tail of the kite, you have bows. Mm -hmm. Can you switch them out for daisies, or is it too big? It's kind of big. It's... Um, it's kind of intense. Hmm. No, it's too big. It's it's Yeah, I no. haven't like felt inspired by the little daisy yet. Like what am I going to do with it? <laughs> the little daisies are cute because of the stitching, but I, I same with me. I feel like this this mission of the daisies would be a what, perfect though? this. It does look very doodle buggy. It does. It does. It's inspired. Yeah, I feel like you could do like a simple, simple, um, a simple card, you know, and like do like three daisies, and maybe make your own like bottoms. Oh no, nah, that could work. So, you know, this could be like the perfect size for a a decent paper clip. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it? You could shakerify it and cut the circle out of, cut the flower out of foam and then cut the circle out of that and then acetate. That's intense. You know I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's intense for a paper clip. Oh, I'm not saying for a paper clip. I'm just saying oh. like for further use of the flower. Oh, yes. Yes. The flower is super cute, honestly. The shape is cute. Is. We can, I'm sure. I'm sure we can like stamp a face on the flower and make it doodle bug with a face or, but it's a very cute shape. I, I haven't seen a lot of shapes like this, but I feel like it's great for ensembling. You guys, when you see Renee's craft room though, and her setup, like you're going to be like, what are you afraid of? Your yeah. Room is amazing. Like maybe it's gonna be more amazing one day, but right now it's amazing. It is so it's amazing, amazing right now. Yes, it is. So maybe it like is. add this to the friends. Just like look how cute they are right here. Because I'm trying to use like the collections that I have been using so that when they're all together, they can be an ensemble. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm using 
like okay. these that I'm using right now so they can all match like oh this is a partner to that and this is also a friend mm -hmm. to this so it looks great in your craft room you know right oh and then this one I made I think I, I made this in a live already but look they're all like related they're all family members see they're like family the members to each other. Huh? The kissing bunnies? I just barely got that die. I haven't, like, I cut it one time just to kind of, like, get a feel for it to see how big it is and stuff. But I haven't gotten to play with the kissing bunnies yet, the Scrap Diva kissing bunnies. I don't think I got that. I don't think I got that. That is an ensemble together with this. That's so cute. And this one I need to decorate. And then and then this one that I made two years ago with the KS Crafts rainbow die. I don't think you can see it clearly. Well. But this one is like a oh, rainbow wow. container like for it's like a taco. Did you make the rainbow? Is that a die or is that a what is that? Yeah, this is a die. Wow, that it's one supposed nice. to be like an envelope. Uh, it's a, supposed to be like a mini album die from KS Crafts and we did two or three years ago. That and one then, is nice because it's huge, like mm -hmm. you could do so much. Yeah, look how cute it is. It's gonna be in your craft it's room, it's cute. all like side by side, like hanging out together, right? And that this, cute. and this. And with a bag. And I was going to make like a small traveler's notebook that fits this perfectly. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But I feel like ensembling, I love ensembling because I want them all to be related to each other. It makes sense. I just don't know where I put my, I don't have any odds and ends. I may have put it somewhere. You know how like your packaging certain 3D products and I probably put it somewhere and I don't know where it is now. Mm. But they're all related. They're all cousins from the mm -hmm. same mother. Which is me. <laughs> <laughs> they're all like my children. Look how cute. And then this one is going to be another one. We'll see how it goes. It should be easy to create like a, you know, something with it. I feel like crafting for Christian is like breathing. It's just easy. It's so fun. Natural. These are all like family members. Look how pretty. It's so cute. It's so cute, honey. And I use my doodle pop. What? Yes. Awesome. The doodle pop has been used in this project. Okay, now we know you're lying, Christian. <laughs> <laughs> Now we know you are not yourself. <laughs> are you okay? Is there you somebody have a behind the scenes of the camera making you say that? <laughs> making you use your doodle pop? I know. I know. And I have. One for yes and two for no. Hold up your hand behind your back. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. So cute. I just, I just love it. It's so much fun. <laughs> what? All the shenanigans. All the children. <laughs> anyway, it's so it's so much fun to just look at them and all they're related and you know they're all coming from the same paper collection, so which is so cute. much fun. I love ensembling. Ensembling is the best ever invented ever. Because you're seeing them all from like the same collection and it's so much mm -hmm. fun. Like these, you know, it's all from the same color line, Easter. Like a little it's, band of I know, it's a little band of goodness. cuteness. And they're all like hanging out and being awesome together. Mm -hmm. It just gives you so much joy. Like I them like. being next to each other makes them more awesome. Right? 
abducted by aliens what <laughs> you saw that wink right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i saw it <laughs> mm -hmm. it's so fun it's so fun i feel like i'm gonna use my collections because we were me and rachel were talking about this the other day and we were like you have like a small window when it's you're so in love with a collection like how long that is while you're in love with it and it's still novel mm -hmm. is different per person like you may think that the newest collection is novel for you for a week some people think it's like two months that it's perfect and i'm excited to use it that excitement goes away mm -hmm. and you never get that excitement back yeah you know what i mean so isn't it funner? Isn't it funner to play with something that you're excited about versus something that oh okay, I'm playing with old things, which is oh. that's why you never get it back. But I still okay. have if to my, hold it. If my audio changed, it's because my AirPods just died, I think. So now I'm on the speaker of my actual phone. We can hear you loud and clear, Sandra. We got home last okay. night from Hawaii, Japan is next year. G2, G2. Um, I think that is it for me. Are you going to be going live on your channel anytime soon? I haven't like pre-planned anything, but I could. That would be so much fun. So we can get, you know, people to go to your channel, friend, get traffic in there right yeah I need to go live i haven't gone live in like a hot minute i think it's like, i think going channel. live i think going live is a great way to be able to get to connect with more people mm -hmm. um and have more exposure right right you know what i haven't done in a long time haul video Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you for the link. Thank you for the link. That's very sweet. That is so sweet, honey. But yeah, I'm... I don't... That'll be... That'd be I have a, a plan to go live, but I, I... At the same time, I've been thinking, I'm like, I haven't gone live in a while. Do it, do it. Do it, do it, do it. Oh my gosh, look how, how much die cutting I did. This is like gives me like <laughs> shivers. Gives me the shiverings. There's so much. <laughs> In the same time when it's done, it's amazing because it's done, right? But if it's this, it's like I know I like to die cut a lot. I know me too. Ugh, but it's so overwhelming. Like oh, I, I tried to start putting together the words and I'm like I ended up having so it's gonna go live with Renee. Yay! Do I lives. Live. We'll go to your lives. We'll go but to I lives. Think, you know, I put these together and I still have more. So. Oh, it's so pretty. That I so have to look. I just barely um, started using the DCWV shimmer paper. Mm-hmm. And I'm in love, dude. It's so shimmery. And it's like all kinds of different colors. It's the pastel shimmer paper. So, you know, pastel. DC, though, where did you get that, So Joanne's. <gasps> can you show us the front so we can mm -hmm. get some? Do you still have the front intact? Like I what it looks like? I have it like over here somewhere that I know about. I will try to locate it um if you see it send send us a picture or post I will it post a <coughs> story and tag you yay that will be phenomenal that'll be yeah. awesome yeah because it's a cup one i don't know if i put it away or if it's somewhere else <laughs> i'll figure so that out and then yeah so if when you do the words, do you assign like a particular, for example, like a particular combination? Do you, do no. you tend to do it or you just go, go to town? Go to town. 
Because I normally like like to so that it's gonna be a set. Mm -hmm. You guys know what I mean? Like, okay, so this is gonna be a combination that is expected. So I'm gonna need I'm gonna have all the words with this combo. So I like I don't know, I'm obsessive compulsive when it comes to that. Well, I was thinking about that too. Like, well, maybe some of them aren't going to match with other patterns or something. And then I'm going to have a mismatch, like one that's off. Where mm -hmm. it's like the same front and, and backing. Mm -hmm. So I just did all of them in glitter for the letters and then all the backs that's in so different pretty. pastel sugar card stock. That's so pretty. I love the white. Is that white glitter or white? white glitter. Oh my God, the white glitter is so good. This and white and black is, for, for letters are the best. This white um, glitter is, I lost the eyes though. Um, is, Nouveau drops. Uh, I wanna say it's, um, it's an old Recollections glitter paper pad. Mm -hmm. Like pastel glitters of all kinds that mm -hmm. I found at Tuesday morning before they closed. Oh, I love Tuesday morning. I miss Tuesday morning. I feel like Tuesday morning is a friend that you visit every time you're off or when you have time or you feel like you want to have some sunshine in your life. You know what I mean? Like that kind of friend. Oh, I miss Tuesday morning so much. Do you guys miss Tuesday morning? I, I love Tuesday. Tuesday morning is part of the reason that like, like, it, it was I was able to get into your guys's like circle of crafting because remember I, t I was telling you how like I would watch like people's swap reveals or like whatever and I'd be like oh, I want to craft like that I want to <laughs> and I bought my big shop from Tuesday morning oh my goodness like eighty dollars or something I think that's a start of a lot of people connected is because Tuesday morning shopping. Mm -hmm. But if it hadn't been for that, I don't know if I would have like, oh, like that's kind of an investment to get a die cutting machine. And maybe like I'm going to suck. And then I bought this big old machine and whatever. It's like the encouragement of the push. But I was like, but it's only like 80 bucks. And the ladies like, they seem to really like their die cutting machine. <laughs> like, oh yes. I want yes, one. We do. <laughs> I want one. Yes, we do, Eric. <laughs> and I would see I would see like ladies die cutting or paper piecing or whatever, and I'm like, maybe I if I had that. a die cutting machine, like I could do that. I could yes. do that, maybe if I had yes, a die cutting you... machine. <laughs> it, isn't it isn't it like that's where it all started? <laughs> yeah like the die cutting machine was a whole like i a whole hole when he got me the cricket i i i did like right away jump in even though like i didn't know what i was doing and stuff mm -hmm. but the die cutting machine it's, it's like a different less of a learning curve mm -hmm. you just like, you know, like done easier like yes there's a learning curve with things like really thin like detailed dyes or whatever mm -hmm. like you need to learn certain techniques and like sometimes you have to learn like don't get the teeny tiny skinny like detailed dyes because they're gonna rip when you try to take them out right like just don't get those just don't mess around <laughs> right don't even but, try like, for the most part it's like you get the dye you get the paper you cut it out Darn. Like, you Done. glue it together. <laughs> yes, you're not like you're sh you, you got the machine, but I have to buy the mat. I have to buy the specific blade. Right. Oh wait, you I know? forgot that I'm not a technology person. <laughs> oh my god, same. That's why I was like it drove me insane. It took me two years to actually use it. But it was such an expensive like thing that when he got it, I felt like obligated, like I have to use it because mm -hmm. he went and bought this big old hunk of like machine honey down the Joanne's hole. Right. And like if I just leave it there, but like I feel like that was my the copier is still sitting. <laughs> the copier has now been sitting for over a year and I haven't like What do you mean the copier? The printer? Christian, I 
I, did I not tell you? Um, so like not this Christmas that just passed, but the one before. <gasps> Eric bought me an office grade laser printer. <gasps> like the kind that you find at like a large office. <gasps> Not he like loves you so much. Oh my home. God. So sweet. It, it was. But dude, it's huge. It's huge. It's like, I don't know, like maybe. It's gigantic. Like three feet probably maybe more than three feet by three feet like holy it's moly and then it's super tall too like another three and a half feet tall or four feet it's like tall. business level yeah it reaches up to my chichis like when i'm like it's in the box on the floor in the middle of my living room still in the box in the box oh with the tape my. on it oh my god how are you not like opening that I like do, a crazy I person feel bad because i don't have room like literally like I craft on the dining room table. Like I have mm -hmm. too much craft stuff to fit in my store, mm -hmm. like my organization and stuff. Like there is no, Space. I don't know. I just get another shelf and a like desk table thing. So I'm going to try to put some stuff on there or maybe, you know what? I'm a DTD. I could use the freaking, I bought a new like desk thing. It's not new. Like, Somebody was getting rid of it, and I was like, I want that. That's a wooden desk, you know, like. New to you. Yeah. Well, guess what? I just thought about it. I think it's sturdy enough and big enough that I can put my printer on there. Let's go. Do Let's it. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, my God. You're going to have, like, you're going to be printing digitals. I'm going to try to do that this upcoming week, I think. She, I, I see a she shed, Stace. Stace said she says she shed in the future. Oh, my cousin keeps telling me that I need to get a dream box, but I'm like, girl, that's a whole, like. That's a maybe, whole different hole. <laughs> yeah, maybe once, maybe once, like, because we, we, like, we haven't bought a house and stuff. Like, maybe once I buy a house and I have, like, an actual room for, like, then I'll start doing things, like try to acquire a dream box but you know that's not like in my trajectory right now be a situation you need to have actual actual space for the dream box to actually work Maybe. i feel like sandra said that she has a dupe for 200 bucks that's like amazing wait what it's a craft room in a cabinet wait where did you get that so if I have a dupe for 200, what about the link to that? What about a link, Cousin Sandra, to the dupe? We want the dupes. Right. It's like the Rolls Royce of craft cabinets, I feel like the dream box. But isn't it the dream box is like $3,000, $4,000? Yeah, it's plus, like a lot. Plus all of the stuff that fits there. If you want to buy all the bells and whistles, the bells and whistles are like four more grand. Mm. And the bells and whistles are not going to fit my crap. Mm -hmm. I'll post the link. Oh, the dupe. Woo! But you That's have to think, like, you're, you're, you're re if you get the dream box, you're replacing several pieces of furniture and, like, shelves or whatever organization furniture that you have with the dream box itself friend the dream box All is like the stuff. star of the show right it's the actual star so you have to empty your space and remove everything and restart with a new vision i feel like yes people make them I out mean, of ikea books find, like, like some some like, there's the dream like, when, when when we move here like when we move we have like these movers that like we always go through them they're like their motto is what can brown do for you and they hire like mexican guys and arab guys so they like they do the job right <laughs> but their motto is, is what can the... brown do for you <laughs> this is the link to the dupe and they will help talking? us like do all this stuff so i think if I ever was to get a dream box and I was still in Colorado, I would hire them, pay them to help me. Like, okay, we need to get all this stuff, all this crafty stuff, all this right here, all this. 
And then we're going to put this dream box and I need you guys to assemble it too and put it in here. <laughs> and then we're going to put all this stuff back in there. How much? Oh, oh my God. Yes. Let's That's talk about how much. I would Hi, be Pom. so overwhelmed otherwise to do it all just by myself. Like, yeah, people are going to touch your stuff, but like, I need help. I can't do that by myself. I like, no, I will be I like, need to feed, I need frozen. to feed the children. I will be frozen and it will be a overwhelming business grade laser printer worth thousands of dollars sitting on my living room floor for over a year. <laughs> oh my gosh. It would have been so fun to set that up. Imagine like, so can I order? So can I, can you print me um, the digital collection? I'm going to send you. And well, then the, tell like, me the how big, much big thing like, and this is going to sound so dumb. Like, you have a business grade laser printer and the catalyst was that i tried to print pattern paper on vellum at and? and it like ruined my vellum and spit it out and it looked like like back when they used toner cartridges and then they like explode all over your thing and oh, up no. and spit it, out. it looked so bad and I was like, oh, well, what the no. hell? These are supposed to be printable vellum. I don't understand. But it would not work. Like, it didn't work. Oh, no, that traumatized you a lot then. And I, but I just wanted to do it so bad because I, I, I printed, um, well, the other thing is also, did you know that you can still buy overhead projector sheets? Yeah, that's what I buy for my uh, transparencies. What do you mean? For your acetate? Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. I use and it's so much class. cheaper. No friend. But no need. Thin. Because 100 is 16. Wow. Yeah. Sell the printer. Get a dream box. Sell, <laughs> sell no. Deb. No, no I, way. No. Sell Deb. I feel like the printer would be life changing. No, I feel yeah, like the printer. I, I, I don't. I don't really have a desire to have a dream box, Debbie. Like that's my, my cousin is more like, she wants me to have a dream box so bad, but I don't personally have a desire to have a dream box. Really? I think I feel like a dream box need to be the star of the show. Mm -hmm. And I don't have the space to give it the limelight that it deserves. Like other craft rooms would probably have the bandwidth to accommodate the dream box. I probably don't, especially I have stairs that's so tall and we already have an established house and my kids, like my daughter is gonna go to college in like three years. Do you know what I mean? Like all those practicalities, like your babies are tiny and we're not gonna be in this house. And we're getting older, you know, all those mm -hmm. things that are practical. Yeah. And the dream box in the second floor, I don't know. I'm yeah. afraid of the dream box. Beautiful words, love. Yes, thank you so much. I would love to hire like an organizer. Imagine if there's a crafty organizer. <sighs> there is. Well, honestly, actually, you can hire like just in general organizers, period, that come and do stuff to your house and help you you know, implement a system, they they can do a craft room. It's just a different type of room, but it's the same skills that you're hiring them to bring to you and help you put a system into your space. Okay, I, I get that, like the professional organizer. You know the first thing they're going to ask for you to do? Get rid of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Are you willing to say, so if you need to get rid of 65% of your shit, I'm like, you're fired. <laughs> yeah, no. I could like, have done that me, myself. No, no. Like, not, not only because, like, the investment, uh, how, like, you acquired all these things and paid your money to get all of these things, but also, like, lady, do you know that you can't actually get like, anymore? I, I no longer can get Amy Tangerine. Like, she doesn't put out collections anymore. Yes. Yes. Me and and you're never gonna get that, you're never like, gonna get Fantastico ever again. Yeah. No. So no. And like Hell no. 
I know that I do have more stuff than I will probably use up, right? Agreed. Agreed. But Same with any collector. Like, honestly, we have so much stuff. Like, if we stop shopping at this exact moment, like, from this agree. moment on, you're not allowed to shop. You'd be like, okay. I have so I much Eric, stuff. I said, what's, well, because we were talking about Joanne's going out of business. And somewhere he had read that, like, I guess paper crafting and quilting and these, like, physical with your hands hobbies are becoming less popular overall. Like, less people, new people are wanting to become paper crafters or Correct. filters or whatever. Oh, my God. We were and talking so, about that. It's We're the last. Yeah. And so, like, these stores, like, like. And physical like, things. Um, what was it? Hancock Fabrics kind of like went away. Joanne's is Beverly's. Struggling. Joanne's is Bobby dying. Bobby is wanting to kick all the paper crafters out of this. No, oh you my god. Oh house. my god. Gina said, I'm hiring you to organize everything and nothing is getting thrown away. Period. And the person, the organizer says, Okay, ma'am, I need four more rooms. <laughs> If I hire somebody, I need, ma'am, I need four more rooms if you want it organized. Like, I I watch Marie Kondo. Marie Kondo inspired me, and I use Marie Kondo for my bedroom, for, like, kitchen, for everything else in the house except for my craft room. Because you can't apply Marie Kondo because she wants you to, like throw your life away like everything gives me joy everything gives me joy what are you gonna do Marie Kondo this gives me joy everything she's gonna ask does this give you joy yes oh yeah what about lot, this actually, yes a lot. like how much level of joy are we talking about because everything gives me joy everything <laughs> mom said I'm turning the volume down the hubby is walking by <laughs> oh, that's Marie Kondo's Technique does not apply with crafts. I admit that everything in my life, Marie Kondo has helped except for my craft room. There has to be a guru that is specific for crafters when it comes to crafting. I know, Deb, everything in my craft room gives me joy too. That's why I bought it. Gina said, yeah, right. I can't convince myself of no more dice. I... I'm not hardly going to listen to a stranger. <laughs> joy, because Sandra says, joy, joy, joy. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear the little mouse saying that. <laughs> I can hear him saying that, Sandra. <laughs> oh, I love it. The little joy. fat mouse, and he goes, joy, joy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. I, as soon as I get the whatevs collection, we have to go live. We have to. Oh, we have it's going to be so oh much God. fun. Can you write that and sign it for me so I can give it to my hubby? <laughs> sure. By the power vested in me by no one other than myself. I will by write you that certificate. In me by the ladies of the chat. <laughs> by the organization called PHA. Since 2020, <laughs> yes, <laughs> it is. And we're going to notarize it, period. Wait, I'm if sure one of us is a notary. You know what? Wendy's a notary because she's a paralegal. Oh, that's true. Mm -hmm. We'll take it to Wendy. Yes, she's the legit. Although, I will say, mm -hmm. Wendy's like an organized gal. She is. I saw her. <laughs> She might not agree. She'll be like, oh, is it organized? Do you have space for it? Don't buy it. Girl, I can't notarize this. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to ask her. Wendy, yeah, we have to ask okay? her. Cousin Sandra says 31 witnesses. I, ask you. I just, I need you to know, like, how important this is to me. <laughs> I need your legal help. <laughs> okay. Sandra said 31 witnesses. Deb said we have the last say. Palm said Marie Kondo doesn't apply to my craft room. Same. Marie Kondo is not accepted in my craft room. She's accepted in 
the other parts of the house. However, <laughs> if Marie Kondo came to my craft room, she'd be like, <sighs> she'd be like, oh my God, I need to get out. The producers cannot bring me here anymore. <laughs> There's no organization. I mean, I've gone way past organization. I have to remove and make difficult choices. Difficult choices for my craft room to be ideal and looks like pinterest craft rooms like i would live vicariously through renee and her craft room deb patrice uh who else <clears throat> gina yeah that's the look of husband <laughs> oh my gosh it's like intense intense right now i tell you Yep. That has to be like some life changing because I'm organizing my dice and I'm like, oh my God, I have to destatch my dice, but they give me joy though. I was like kind of surprised when you were destatching dice and I'm like, why? <laughs> Friend, I have so much. Like <laughs> on top and I know on like, top of I like getting sent some, I buy for myself. <laughs> it shouldn't be the case, but I do though. Did you see but Erica's craft room? That oh one God. has a bow and the other one doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see Erica's craft room? It's so big. It's huge. It's, it's so big. It's the floor of... Yes. Of almost it is the attic. It is the whole floor. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is so big. And it's, it's beautiful. fabulous. It's not like saying it's not. Nice. It's like... Oh. I know. It's like... Yeah, like the sky opens up. The angels the came. Babies fly out and like throw rose petals at you. With the angels. Her, her craft room. Like, oh my gosh. No, it's not a new video. I feel like it's when she was doing like blips of showing her craft room and then she did like she what is the release? Final video though, like of everything finished, I think. So oh, if you she don't does. want to go through the process, you can just go on and watch the final the video. Final? It's like a full tour. Oh, that's going to hurt my heart. I have to move. <laughs> Imagine an entire floor to yourself. Crazy. Like if you, if I had a big craft room, like a big shed. Imagine like you're going to have like a die cutting station. I want a die cutting station with all the dice. I want a die, like a big table that could be my craft table with filming. You know what I mean? And then a different area for like sewing or whatever. If oh. I had a craft room like big like that, I think what would eventually happen is the same thing that happens when you get a big purse. You're like, I need a bigger purse, blah, 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 blah. And, and you're going to fill the like, purse. A month or two into it, you're like, I need a bigger purse. <laughs> I need a bigger purse. That's true. That's that's the truth. That is the truth, my friend. <coughs> and then the bigger the purse, the more supplies that's going to be in it. We have a whole giant floor craft room of things that bring us joy. <laughs> That we can't get rid of. <laughs> or like it's traumatizing to get rid of it. Even if you have to. It's like your babies. Like, they're my children. Right, but I found that out Tuesday morning and they're gone now. I can't. Tuesday morning you can never buy again. That's one of the hardest things is most of our supplies, they don't supply anymore. Oh, gosh. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I tell you, this hobby, though, kept me sane during the pandemic, all I'm going to say. <clears throat> yeah. Because, man, that was intense. That was, like, intense life shit. Yeah. And, oh, my goodness. If not for crafting, I would be like, what? You ladies are still here. I'm upstairs now. My next house, I want a big room. Yes, Deb. Oh, my God. Because Deb's organizational skills are top-notch cum laude. 
Gina number two says, so it is much easier to buy bigger purse when you need it. That's, That's so right. So true, Gina. So true. <laughs> I'm making flowers in Georgia. I only heard that they are. Wait, what are in what Georgia? Are, no, they're talking like, about home home prices. I'm in Colorado. Expensive, expensive, expensive. Mm -hmm. So sweet. Uh, it was intense the pandemic was like oh so many people i remember the pandemic was such a terrifying thing but most i ha i do have a lot of terrifying ex memories of the pandemic but it was balanced off by the f a whole lot of friends that i met online to balance mm -hmm. off the scariness and the negativity and the trauma. Yeah. It was like, it was intense, but it was filled with so much joy also. I think that's it's what I. The end, maybe the end of 2020, the mm -hmm. end of quarantine, maybe, I think is when I encountered your life, or it might have been when we were starting to phase back in. Oh, that's 2021. Yeah, so maybe 2021 was when I found your live, Christian. Well, wasn't it fun? It was fun when we, when I wish you came like early on during the pandemic because like we would have lives that was like 100 people because everybody was home. I Nobody did, I had to go to work. One, one live, I remember specifically one live and and like it, it i had already been hanging out for a while where like people kind of like knew me and i knew everybody's name and stuff and you had 104 people on live at the same time yep it was an amazing way to connect and to be in one area where we're not talking about death. I mean, we are talking about death. We're talking about a lot of things, actually. <laughs> but it was, it was like not the news. It's not like the news where it's just so much. And we can, you know, having your hands move and be creative and exploring colors and touching new things and trying new techniques was super fun. You know, and being able to connect with other people was the best. Deb said when, when it, Yes, it's when I started watching you and then meeting you. That's so sweet. And the crazy, yeah, that was crazy during the pandemic. Oh, Rachel's here. Hi, Rachel. We're trying Hi. a new technique with my face. I met so from your live. Oh, my God. That is I know, amazing. I remember that day because, like, I didn't know that you were in the lives yet. And I just remember, like, people would start saying, oh, I'm in California. And every, like. 10 other girls would be like, oh, I'm in California too. Oh, I'm in SoCal. And I'm like, you know what? Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. SoCal. Girl. Whatever, people. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's in Colorado. <laughs> like, I, I don't have anybody in Colorado. And then, like, that day, it was, like, out of nowhere, like, and Renee was like, I'm in Colorado. Where oh, are what? you? And then I was like, oh, she's going to tell me something stupid. Like, oh, I'm in Pueblo. And... <laughs> I was going to be all sad and you said that you were like right by my mom's and I'm like oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> and then I was worried like well what if she doesn't like me because you know like maybe she's like who's not gonna like you so you're so me. sweet and then like me and the first time me and Renee met we went to a coffee shop some random coffee shop that neither of us had been to and we sat in the coffee shop for over four hours talking <laughs> Oh Over my god. Four hours. Oh my god. And like a stranger <laughs> that like became your best friend, like boom. No, first sip. We were like, it was Ooh. it was crazy. It was like me and Renee had been friends and like we were just talking and talking and talking. You know, like when you like see a new an old friend again. Mm -hmm. It was like that, but we had just met that day. Oh my god. My my you know, fiance was texting me. He's like, "Are you okay? Are you still at the coffee shop?" Did you like, get kidnapped? At the coffee shop. We're fine. Like, I just <laughs> forgot about you. Sorry. 
I met my soul I sister. Just a moment. Anything. Give me time. <laughs> like, oh, Isn't it amazing? You don't need to see me right now. <laughs> oh, fun. It was oh, amazing. that is so amazing. Rachel, oh, Rachel's not home. Oh, she she was able to go to the Glen. Rachel is in Washington right now. Are you sitting poolside with a with a drink in your hand, or is it cold? With a martini, <laughs> a margarita, a daiquiri, a wine cooler, yes, a whiskey. <laughs> oh my god, would it be so crazy? Would it be so crazy to have a craft and sip? Oh my gosh. Oh, that would be crazy. I'm already crazy at baseline. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. It would be so fun, but it wouldn't be the best crafting we've ever done. <laughs> it cannot be for the public. No. <laughs> it has to be like, delete this. This cannot be for public <laughs> consumption. <laughs> right, this is not going on YouTube, you guys. <laughs> I'm going to get demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel says my kids were worried when I met Christian at the retreat. Yes, they were worried. Why? <laughs> that you were never going to come back? <laughs> internet. They said internet friends are not real friends. That was a long time ago in the 90s, in the AOL days. <laughs> Christian went straight for a shot. That's right. My kids are like, mom. She could be an axe murderer. Oh my god, that's what my husband says. Um, uh, cocoa, like, coffee, tea, maybe cookies, sour patch kids. Which one? No pool. Damn, they. Oh, they're they're taught that in school. That's true. That's true. That could be true. I think, except for crafters. <clears throat> I remember Yvette knocking at my front door. I think me and Alicia were out somewhere and then Yvette arrived and I told my husband, Yvette is coming to sleep over. And he's like, okay. <laughs> he's like, okay. <laughs> and like, do you know if these people are not ax murderers? Like they're fine. They're crafters. There's no crafter who's an ax murderer. <laughs> I was the only thing. It was like the only thing we, Cut is paper. That's right. We cut paper. That's it. It gives us joy. Lots and lots of joy. Those flowers are so freaking pretty. Did you fold them with your fingers though? Did you like do this with your fingers? Um, no. Okay. So my amazing shaping tool. You want to see it? Oh, look. <laughs> it's very exclusive. Very fancy. Special edition. <laughs> is that what you use to like? yeah Push that. oh wow okay, so like i'm doing like this and i kind of just like these smaller ones i put it up here because it's skinnier but the bigger ones i was doing it over here because it's more round i like this part better because it's round but these ones are oh, just, do you use your fingers in between oh so my god I that's just do this and then i kind of like wow that's a good idea and then with these i also did this hold on i don't know if it's still here I had this pen. You see this pen? Mm -hmm. I'm sure you guys have a similar pen like this from somewhere. But they're like those pens that like this says thermwise.com. I don't know where I got it. The pen is dead. It does not write. <laughs> but see, like that metal part, it's so round and smooth. And so I put it like this and then I just like. Oh, wow. I've and never thought of doing it manually it like that. So I'm not worried that it's going to write on my flower. Nice. That was, that's why your flowers are so alive. My flowers are not that alive. That's the most dangerous thing. What I have will messy. say, these small, I think it's because of the small ones. Like I'll, I'll do a, few, a bunch and then my fingers start getting like tired. Achy. And then I have to like take so a break. They're so perfect and do though. Else. And then I so thought I you do paint them all the edges, right? And then I have this. This is from that um honeycomb mini album, the middle part. And I just kept it because it's such a large scrap piece. And right. I'm using it for this. And then I used this, came with my big shot. 
mm-hmm. physic tool. But you know what else works that I was also using? Uh-huh. At Dollar Tree, they have cake decorating tools by the wedding section that are plastic ones of these. And they come in different sizes in one pack for $1.25. Um, oh, well done. And they have different sizes all the way from smaller than this to bigger than this. And then I just do like this. And if you really want it to like cup up, you do like this and it really cups up. See? Nice. It looks perfect. So how many do you use for one flower? Um, I was doing two. And so like some of these, I had already glued all of them in, in twos. And then I was like, well, let's just try three because I saw somebody else did three. And I think three is way better. Like it really, it needs three. So if you haven't done this, I would recommend three, but it doesn't look bad with two. It just looks yeah, it doesn't look bad with three. With two. Definitely. Tom says, yeah, I think Paige Evans pinches her flowers in half. And she makes hers to not roll, but just squeezes the petals together. Mimi yeah. says she pinches her flowers. Mm-hmm. It sounds dirty, but it really isn't. It's paper flowers. <laughs> I do three to six. Three to six is intense. Wow. That's a lot of flowers, Deb. Yeah. Now the next thing that I have to get a mask. Mazzinia. Is those rolled flowers the ones that look like this? Mm-hmm. Because mine look like like poo. <laughs> <laughs> mine I too. I mine think you have to have a quilting, a quilting um tool. <laughs> oh, a quilling tool? Yeah, I don't have. Oh one. yeah, a quilling. I know you get that from Hobby Lobby because there's like an opening mm-hmm. onto it, and I think yeah, that it has would like be. little prongs, but it's like the teeniest prongs that just fits over your your paper. Thing. I saw that. Um, I saw that at a retreat, and I'm like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, that is, yeah, yeah. Mimi is a master of rolled flowers. I suck at them. Mimi is the master of the flowers. Mimi, the master tutorial (laughs) flower master. Maybe you should join us in a live and teach us how to do your flowers. You're the mask, the flower master. You know what we should do? We should have all the PHA girls nominate their like other PHA girls for their best like skill, and then peer pressure I them do. to go on your live with you and mm-hmm. teach us yeah. their best skill. <laughs> she was, like, she was gonna give me a kiss, but he saw my face, and I'm like, oh, you're live. <laughs> So yes, let's nominate. So Mimi, could we can nominate Mimi for the flower master? For rolled flowers, we need a tutorial. Rolled, rolled flower master. And you Mimi, don't need to do secret? a tutorial. Live is easier. Live is easier, yes, and we can rewatch. It takes patience, she said. What is what is your expertise? If you are like gonna look into like the crafting, like I know this is my strong suit. What would be your specialty? Me? Mm-hmm. Oh, um, uh, I think paper piecing is my and cards. I. Oh my gosh, paper piecing my is are- my downfall. I think your cards are gorgeous. I have but patience, I but I just that's my two them. best crafty things. Maybe is I feel like mine is the traveler's notebooks. Oh yes, you. I have one of your traveler's notebooks. I they're gorgeous. What about you guys? What is your like based on your assessment of your crafty skill? What is your like? I'm an expert. I'm not really an expert, but I like. I feel like I'm doing a great job when it comes to this what do you what do you think is your specialty we know mimi's paper flowers rolled flowers her specialty what about everybody um i can make other flowers no problem says deb i've seen people use a drill and a small drill oh i saw that i saw that a drill and then they would just (laughs) rolled (laughs) you know how like they would do like a cricket like a 12 by 12 have cricket cut it for them and then it like 
you know how like the business people they would have like a shadow box filled with rolled flowers that's how they would that's how they would renee says her expertise is buying craft supplies <laughs> that's not I'm true. That and organizing renee says and organizing organizing she also <laughs> layers like really cute really layers cute. like layers like a queen yeah. Gina says mine too renee palm says color matching card making for me oh wow deb says quilling oh that's a hard hard one oh yeah Never <laughs> expertise is creating svg files we need a class for that i do I ask I rachel and that i've like made stuff from stuff in the library in cricket but i don't know how to like redefine them svg files like i don't know how to create them from scratch like i can do things in procreate and draw them and whatever but i don't know how to turn same. them into svg either same M rachel's talent is making a mess <laughs> Ooh, deb one. said my newest love is sublimation that could be your expertise deb your sublimation um gina says Deb's i started making modest, cards though. before meeting you i'd say Deb's cards cup <laughs> files are the bomb.com bomb.com gina yes. says That's making good. cards is her superpower we'll call it superpower my superpower is making travelers notebooks nice to meet you <laughs> yes <laughs> And then when we go to a convention, that's going to be on our shirt. And that's going to be a point of conversation. Like, oh, my God, <clears throat> that's my kryptonite traveler's notebooks. Like, then we can be partners because that's that's my superpower. You know what I mean? That would be so much fun. It would. My superpower also is shopping. <laughs> you know, I'm beginning to love Timu. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Timu is a slippery, slippery one. <clears throat> Timu is like a, kind of like becoming a good friend to me. <laughs> <laughs> it just it has a lot of stuff for really good prices. And maybe it's like almost good that it doesn't have everything, everything that Ali and other places has. Bye. Then like you can that's a superpower. Stuff, limited stuff. much money there <laughs> the devil <laughs> sandra says i love timu it's our tuesday i know it's our tuesday morning now because tuesday morning is gone well i think it's like our futile attempt to find a substitute for tuesday morning mm -hmm. and they're cheap but they mm -hmm. like it's not on to like it doesn't even like hold a flame to tuesday morning you know like you want to see what i last bought from timu look Yes. Have you guys seen this? You see this? <coughs> Ooh. Oh, it's cool? Meliza got that. You got it? No, Meliza got that. Yes. So it's like 20 something dollars. Oh. <coughs> it's super easy to assemble. It's huge. I didn't think it, it was that big. I, that's cool. And the, I like box, that. the box is so small. And then this one I got from Timu as well. What What are you going to put in it? Do you know? No, I didn't. Nope. Oh. Wow. And look how cute these boxes are. So this one has, look how much. I love containers. I feel like, oh. Timo is a bad ex-boyfriend. You just have to ignore him for a while. <laughs> That's true. I got like these, like the ice pick for binding. Hey y'all, there is 35 people in this live and there are 16 likes. I'm not sure what is going on. I think your like buttons were broken for a moment, but they they're fixed now. So you can go ahead and click it like so I, I like i actually i like it um i just need essentially to organize my craft room so i can put it somewhere because it looks like it can nestle by a wall yeah so it's like 
20 something dollars and it's easy to assemble it has one two three four five six it I can roll i think it would so be you can do back to back to you like next to you and you could put like <clears throat> like i could put a, a a small paper pad sticking out from it and some dies behind it some embellishments i already made like per paper look i'm gonna put like a this here you can put paper pads mm -hmm. that you're working with you can put paper pads something? that you're working with if i have like a birthday mail and a swap that i'm working on like i don't want my stuff fall together what i would do is i would buy maybe like if you want i mean the one-sided works very well I um Hi, together you have to have a free space in your craft room for you to it has to be like a convenient place to put it because it rolls you can just drag it somewhere this would be perfect for you for crafting downstairs and you're going to be there for a prolonged period of time or you're going somewhere this would be like a great something to bring to a crop because it it's in it's in a small box like this and it just sits on top of each other. I don't know when it comes, but it's gonna topple over though, when it's heavy, because it's only one side. It was toppling over with this. So I wouldn't put heavy, heavy thing that is, that is going to um, go against gravity. It has to be like heavy on here. Um, I don't feel like it's gonna be paper collection. Because it was toppling over. However, Mine's if you had two back to back, then that would balance it out, I feel like. Sandra, mine under where it says Christian's Crafty Adventures, it says 36 watching now. Started streaming three hours ago. It's great. I would probably buy another one. And then and then um zip tie it together. I think that would be the best because it was fairly easy to assemble. I would zip tie it so that it can balance out and that would be so perfect. So you can just label, you can just label like, okay, oncoming project for, for video, for whatever. That would be so amazing if I, I'm going to get one more because I think it's going to be, it's going to be a great way to organize and does it fit my dies? Christian, can you add a link or maybe later when you have time, add a link on your stories for that? Sure. On your IG? Do I know how to do that? Maybe. Teach me how. Mimi's going to bed. Good night, Mimi's Mimi. Going to bed. Good night, Mimi. It is 1045. And yeah, oh my God. Yes. It's we got to like go. Here and I know. Is still running around. I can hear him. Okay. Well, I think that was such a great live. So thank you for for joining me. It was so so much fun. Um, I had a wonderful time connecting with you. Thank you so much. And let me know if I'm free and if you want to do live. Um, yeah. I am gonna support you if you want to do live on your channel. I'm down. Anyway, thank you so much, everyone, for hanging out with us for three hours and 28 minutes. We absolutely appreciate it. Thank you so much. And um, thank you for hanging out. And in behalf of Sophia and Christian, good night. Have an amazing weekend and stay crafty. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye. And stream.